well, what are you doing here? Hey, I see you. I see you over there. What are you doing here? What in the fuck are you doing here? But welcome. I am Nazan. This is the Lean the Streams, and we're back today playing Winds of Change. I see you, Cruxius. What in the fuck are you doing here? Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday afternoon, and welcome to the stream. Um, <laughs> I caught you. I caught you. I did. But, yeah, we're back playing Winds of Change. It is time for Big Fuzzy Deep V Doggos. We know what we like. We know what we love here. But it is time to see where this story goes. We just got to the big city, so it should be kind of exciting, right? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have a whole lot to say. Uh, we're going to be playing some Overcooked tomorrow instead of um, Played Up it's going to be a little bit different. We decided to switch it up because sometimes you just need something different. So that's okay. But um, yeah, so we're going to check it out. Uh, let's get to Winds of Change. I don't have a lot to say about it except for let's see what this is all about. Let's see what's going on in this story and um, see if there's anything crazy going on. Who the hell knows? I don't know. But I have been told now that we got to the big city, things might get a little bit more substantial so with all that being said let's get to it i gotta get that image out of there boom beautiful anyway welcome 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 again i don't remember what side of the screen i was on was i on the other side i might have been on the other side let's go over here uh yeah so we're still here. I got to get to the continue. We are... Ooh, I got my whole crew here. Look at these guys. They're ready to go. My purity and corruption are equal now. What did I do that was corrupt? I literally do not know. But apparently, I am somewhat corrupt. And I don't know what it was, but apparently, I'm corrupt. So, let's do this. I mean, some of you are probably sitting there going like, yeah, of course you are. What, what are you thinking? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't try to be corrupt. I'm trying to be a good lean, but I can't always, you know, do it. So that's the way it goes. But anyway, let's check this out. Let's go to Town Square and see what the whole hubbub is, bub. We take our first steps into Mizeo. We all pause and examine our surroundings. It's crowded mess with people running in every conceivable direction. Market stalls are set up wherever there's room, with all sorts of wares. Wait, I think I see them. Do you? Do you see them? I'm curious what you see at all, Buddy Bunkins. But that's okay, I will check that out. Four team immediately tries running ahead, enthralled by something he sees. I bet it's the apples. It's gotta be the apples, right? He's been obsessed with apples this entire time. I gotta assume that's what's going on here, so... But before he can get very far, Owick grabs him from behind and stops him. With a tight grip on Fortame's collar, it's clear he's not going anywhere. Uh, hey, what gives? Well, you are going to tell that to Owick? He's huge and you are so small. And you don't want to be so big when he's so small. So don't worry. No, wait. Other way around. You're so small. He's so big. What are you going to do about it? You can't just run off into a crowd like that, Fortim. You'll get lost, and I don't have the time to find you. Stay close to us. We'll get over there eventually. No way, my friend. You're going nowhere. Even if you are the elder, which I'm not sure if I regret or not, but I might. So don't push your luck. All right. Oh, oh I can't stay mad at you. Look at that face. How can I stay mad at you? Look at him. He's so adorable. I can't be, I can't stay mad at you. Okay, come here. I just want to give you a kiss on the nose. You'll feel better. His ears drop droop down and he starts to mope around. <laughs> okay, now he's being a little bitch, so I'm done with that. But before he gets too sad, Ulrich reaches into his pockets, pulling out some coin and gives Fortame with a smile. Here's some money to spend on whatever you want. But like I said, just make sure you stick close to us. Ooh. This isn't the kind of place you want to be alone in. Well... It depends on what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, 
you know what I mean? I bet they have plenty of the seductive purchases you can make somewhere in here. That building looks pretty suspicious back there. Wow, thanks, Ulrich. I'm going to look for some apples then. Can you point them out for me so I don't get lost? They're right there. Actually, I don't know. I don't see apples. Are you saying apples as in actual fruit, or is this a euphemism of some sort? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Yeah, they should be over there. In that building I said was suspicious? I'm on you. I'm on to all of you. Pointing to a nearby market stall, Fortame runs off jubilant. Free money from Ulrich? He must have taken a liking to Fortame. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Either that, or he figured somebody needed to keep him in line. <laughs> One of the two. I guess we should well, keep an eye out for Domic. Knowing him, he's already here waiting for us. Do you see him anywhere, Pro? Yeah, Pro. Do you see? Do you want to use that epic charm of yours that you keep telling us about that you will let us know where he is? There's too many people. Give me a few minutes. I'll find him. I don't believe you. Also, from this side, you look like an otter or a seal. And I still think that. So I don't know if I believe that you're a puppo. You might be a seal in disguise. I'm not 100% sure, but you might be. A few moments later, Fortame returns. He's holding an apple, his eyes glistening with happiness. Look, I finally got what I wanted. It was so expensive, though. I only had enough for one. Guess I'll have to make it last as long as possible, huh? Mm-hmm, that's what she said. Only one? You were con, Fortune. I should have followed you after all. <laughs> Fortame got conned. He got screwed. Oh, no. Poor Bunny Bunkins got swindled. Conned? Yeah. Yeah. You got conned. Yeah, taken advantage of. Uh-oh. The locals know a tourist when they see one. They raise the prices because you don't know any better. <laughs> Oh, no. Mean. Well, you know, I don't know what you were expecting, but yeah, no, he's right. You you seem like the type that could be taken advantage of. Yeah. Sorry, it's my fault. No, it's not your For fault. I put too much faith in the people. At least now you know all of my warnings were true. True. Ulrich let out a large sigh and continues scouting his surroundings. He takes a few steps in a different direction as it helped his search. But Valesa calls out to us shortly after, pointing back towards the gate. Is that him? How would... You, you've you never met the guy. Why would you be trying to point out anybody? A man that was standing there starts to laugh and approaches us. He was standing with his back against the gate, out of sight. He was a perfect hiding spot since we'd be looking ahead. I just wanted to see if you'd notice me, actually. You've got a good eye on you. Valesa, right? How do you know her name? You've never met her. And that is a cute face, too. I'm actually very impressed by this. Yeah, Valimer Scribe. Pleased to meet you, Domic. That's your name. I don't know why we have to put... Ace, what's going on? How are you doing? What in the fuck are you doing here? Anyway, let's see what we got going on here. The Elder. We've heard a lot about you, actually. I've been busy? Oh, well, that's fine. Sometimes that happens. I know the feeling for sure. Um, let's see what this bunny and this doggo are getting up to right now. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All nonsense, I'm sure. All complete, utter nonsense. Sounds like you're rolling in dough. I got Ace. some money, though. Maybe you can buy Nazan a decent gaming chair with all that <laughs> cash might help his gaming skills. Wink, just kidding. We all know my little lean toy needs more than just a chair up <laughs>, Laughs. Oh, yeah, there's no amount, but I'm glad you got some money. That's good. I'm glad to hear it for sure. After smiling at Valesa and Fortame, he approaches me. And you must be the seer. I am. Unfortunately, I'm buying like femboy things with it. You. Honestly, That's good. While has been Plenty so of those hectic. out there. Ah, things have been hectic for this guy and his cute little collar. Look at that thing. Yums, yum, yums, indeed. He blushes, and I can tell he's extremely nervous. It's odd, because he greeted Valesa with Fortame with such ease. 
it humbles me to see a man of such importance treat me in this way. I almost can't believe this is happening. Mm. It's an honor to meet you, Seer. That's me. It truly is. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. You know, I am pretty amazing. I can tell you how awesome I am, and I can tell by the look in your eyes all you can think right now is... Yeah, I can tell. But... Oh, <laughs> I can flirt with you. I didn't picture the general to be so handsome. I'm going to go with it. I This is my philosophy in these games. Is anytime the flirt option shows up, I'm going to do it. I have no problem with it. Here we go. What? Oh, cut it out. There's no need to say things like that. Trust me, you're already on my good side. Oh, yeah? I don't know about that. We'll find out. <laughs> anyway, I reach out to shake his hand, but immediately he pulls back. With a nervous laugh, he rubs the back of his head. Did I do something wrong? He seems excited to meet me, so I assumed a handshake was in order. Anyway, shall we get going? We have quite a busy day ahead of us. You're being suspicious. You're being rather... Sus. And I am on to you. He starts walking, expecting us to follow. But as soon as he gets to pro, he stops in his tracks. Oh, just one more thing before we move along. You'll be on cleaning duty for the next month, pro. Uh-oh, someone got in big trouble, Trubs. He's gonna end up with a bunch of... Emotional damage! Exactly. What? What did I do? You freaking, you know what you did. You betrayed him. You, you didn't do your job, pro. You know that. You've been saying it the whole time. Uh, it's more about what you didn't do. And the answer to that is everything. I ended up sending Ulrich to pick up your slack. Yeah, pro. You, you already knew that. We've had this discussion. We can't afford to waste time anymore. I'm sure you had your reasons, but... Yeah, and they were really good reasons. I couldn't just march into Valinorth with a blade. I need to have some discretion. It took time. All right, well, let's see if he can talk his way out of this. Really, pro. Really? You can't just throw excuses at me. Really? I know how this Are stuff you works. really sure you want to go without excuse? He lets out a loud sigh while pro shuffles in place, ashamed. Uh, I suppose it's my fault in the first place. I should have known better than to send you there. With a tavern in the way, your priorities would be clear. Oh, is he a bit of a drunk? He might be. Also potentially a seal. After their spat, Dobbick turns to face me with a smile. Even when he was scolding, it was polite. That's interesting. I could start to see why people would follow him. Anyway, we have some business with the mayor. Let's head to his house. I'll explain there. After that, I'll give you a tour of our HQ. Great. I'm down. Plans with Grizz. Is it about the pirates? It's about all of the pirates, including myself. Also, we're going to have to get you a hook hand to go with that great DV of yours, but we'll, um, we'll get there when we get there. I said I'd explain when we get there, Ulrich. We can't talk about this kind of stuff out in the open. Finish up whatever business you have, and we'll get going. I believe the bunny had an apple. That's our business. 100% all of it. With that said, I guess it was time to head to the mayor's house. I knew nothing about Mazeo, so I didn't know if this was a detour or not. But either way, my training with the Blade of Exodus would surely begin today. I look at Valesa and Fortain, and we nod at one another. I guess I'd finish up any business here and then follow Damick. My legs are tired, but I can feel like our trek was almost over. Also, I've got things to do. Also, Damick has now permanently joined your party. As a new statistic, morale has been unlocked. Uh-oh. Your troop morale is at 90%. Morale may rise or fall over the course of the game. Your army and their welfare will be affected by your choices. Ensure high morale uh, or your forces may not survive the coming war. 
well, we're screwed. Also, ooh, there's a heart over you. Why is that? I also got Damic and I got four tame. That seems to be the only two things we can do. So let's start with the hey. new boy. What can you tell me about? What in the fuck can you tell me about yourself? Well, it all depends on what you'd like to know. I mean, I'm an open book, but I don't know where to start. Feel free to throw a few questions at me. I'll play along. Okay. If you could be anything you wanted, would it be a piece of saran wrap or would you prefer aluminum foil? Oh, no, these are the questions you want. Okay. 27. Not too young, not too old. What are you talking I'm in the about? perfect place to be leading this army. A lot of the other victims were far younger than me. I'm much older than you, so I don't appreciate that comment, sir. There's plenty of not too old above 27. I just want you to know that. Clays, the writer of this game, I want you to know that 27 is not the brim of being too old. Duh. Anyway. And those that weren't were far older. They took on more of a caregiver role. Plenty of orphans needed plenty of parents. I don't like where you're going with this. I don't like what you're trying to, to espouse right now. I will not be the father figure in this relationship, okay? That's Grizz's job, not mine. When did you join the rebellion? I must have been six or seven years old. That's way too young. The details are like a blur in my head. Sure. Uh, maybe my mind did that on purpose, you know. I don't. You would have to tell me more about it. But it's a blur, so you can't, so we're kind of screwed. But I was rescued by a small group of townspeople. After the battle died down, they started picking up the scraps. The rebellion wasn't formed just yet. That was just starting. Okay. Salus, the previous elder of Valinorth, came to visit. The treaty and the rebellion were formed shortly after. I had no place to go. And no family. I was forced to fight. Well, that's so sad. Y'all, you, yeah, I'll pass on being caregiver just because I'm apparently old, super old past 27, right? I don't believe that. I'm not going to be Mr. Dad, Leem, because I'm older than 27, you little shit. Now I'm losing my respect for this guy. Anyway. Well, that's not really a bad thing, you know. I'm pretty strong now. Trained for almost it. any scenario. Prove it. I just wish I didn't have to miss out on a regular childhood. Prove all of those things at once in one swell foop. Swoop. Foop. Whatever. Do it all. Are you saying anyone? That's a weird question to start off with, right? Hey, um, um you seeing anyone right now? <laughs> oh, of course not. I don't have time for that. I, I mean, maybe when this war is over or something, but right now, uh, I'm far too busy with everything else. That's a shame. We could have changed that. Maybe. And truth be told, I wouldn't even know where to start. The orphans of the occupation were taught war, not love. Other than fighting this battle, I'm not meant for much else. I'm going to go ahead and say that's probably not true. Anyway, what are your hobbies? I don't really have time for hobbies, to be honest. Unless the war table... I'm so casual. I'm like, counts as hobbies. hey, we got war After things war, to do. Maybe I'll pick up a few <laughs> uh, Maybe. But right now, I really don't have the time. I've been training and working since I was a kid. They had no hesitation in letting a child wield a sword. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's one of the main questions. What can you tell me about the Rebellion? Well, almost everything I'd assume. I was one of the founding members with Salus. I guess they like that term more than child soldier. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> They're like, oh, what sounds better? Founding member rather than child soldier. Yeah, that probably would be a little bit more endearing to the general population, don't you think? <laughs> it, might, it might actually make you have a little bit more favor. <laughs> oh my god. When the Triumvirate took over Mazio, 
They had one goal. Oh, it's Mazio? Deep underground. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. <laughs> this they made the honor guard do this. Those empty suits of armor. Right. But while they dug, they also created a sort of barracks down there. I'm not sure why, because the honor guard couldn't make use of it. But I'm assuming it was for when real people came for inspections. Either way, they basically turned it into a paradise. Beds, weapons, training rooms, a war table, everything. When I first saw it, I knew I had to win it for the rebellion. How did you do that? How did you win it? That's what I want to know. Uh, thankfully, Grizz had been turning to our side. It wasn't hard to woo over the mayor and get the deed. His only condition was that he got access to the idol first. That's a little suspicious. Uh, you're not going to question that at all? You're not sus about that? Like, I'm just a little bit weirded out by that. I'm not sure what he wants to do with it. But he can't really do anything, if I'm honest. Not without you or the Blade of Exodus. Oh, that's weird because I'm here now. So, didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> Salus? Well, he was a father figure to a lot of us. That's probably why his sacrifice hit us all so hard. You do remember that he was the elder of Valinorth, right? Nope. I just got here, like, not that long ago, so I don't remember anything. If it's, like, before I had my first vision, I don't remember Lame shit. Streams is proud to support I don't remember shit. Donation drive it's not right like here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation it's Foundation. The same. If you want if to anything, support the stream in an awesome way and can afford it, trips. check it out. To he learn more, out check rebellion. out the link in chat at the lemurreserve.org. That's a tall order. Probably. Tell me more about how it was formed. The sailors saw the chaos and destruction in Mazio and wanted to help. Oh, in that's fact, nice. Even some people from Valinorth were here during the occupation. Oh. He likely discovered what oh, happened. Oh, it's my parents after he's talking about. Disappearance. Literally talking about our parents. Either way, he quickly met with a band of survivors and orphans, offering them funding and protection. The seeds were planted. They became an organization with a goal. They had a purpose. Oh my. Salus likely knew that Valinorth would be occupied as well. So training an army to enact revenge would benefit both nations. They established Peregrino as a central location. And here we are. Here we are indeed. I agree with you. Over the next 20 years, the orphans grew stronger. As soon as we were battle ready, we launched the Exodus Raid. Salus told me more about you and I took over when he passed. What was he talking about? Did he say good things or bad things? Because listen, I know he knows some things that I don't want you to know, but if he told you, you don't need to tell anybody about that, okay? Those are between all of us. Uh, how many members are there? Several hundred, Ooh. but under a thousand. Ooh. We're a fully realized army, and I okay. know we can do this. You With are you and that blade. Our victory is pretty much secured. You don't know that. Also, it's wonderful. Everybody is in a great mood. Great. We have the numbers and the strength to put up a fight. But good. On top of that, That's good. We have you? Maybe. And the blade of Exodus. Well, you also had that, and I wasn't here, so I'm not sure. Oh well, whatever. When you're trained with it, mm -hmm. you can lead the final battle. That blade isn't just a weapon, but a symbol of hope. It sets us apart from every previous insurrection. Well, uh, about that whole leading the battle thing, I'm more, you said, you remember you said before that you're not much of a lover, you're more of a fighter. I'm literally the opposite. I'm more of a lover than a fighter, so we should probably talk about that. With its power, you'll be unstoppable. I hope you're ready to go down in history as a hero. The man who changed Alestia forever. Well, when you put it like that, I don't know, I could say no. So I won't. Hey. Well. We don't know too much about them, to be honest. They're shrouded in mystery and only rule from their chambers. Mm -hmm. Tried to coax them out, but so far nothing has worked. Hey, I met them last night in my dreams. You want to hear about that? Nope. Okay. Not a clue. It's anyone's guess. That's a confused look Hopefully right there. Hopefully we'll find some answers after all this is over. 
There's got to be some record of their past. Right? Might be. At least that's what I'm hoping for. But I'll have to be content if we never find out. My main goal is liberating Alestia and gaining freedom. Freedom! Uh, do you know how old they are? Do you know how old? Are they 26 or 20? They're 20. Guys, they're ancient, so they must be like 28 or something. Maybe 29. I'm not sure. Uh, at least as old as Alestia. 20. Like okay, that. maybe 30. I'm History sorry. seems to have begun when they did. Tw 31 at tops up is past. what I'm guessing. Right place. Once you get 30, you're ancient. Right? Huh? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm on to you. Anyway. There's no record of history prior to their rule, so that's why everybody regards them as gods. But there's more to the story. I can feel it in my gut. You might want to get that checked out because the doctors could find some weird things with that and you may be in trouble. Did you eat some chocolate? You're a dog. You should not be eating chocolate. Is that what happened? Did you eat? Did you get into the chocolate? Did you get into daddy's special brownies? And now you're not feeling very good. I'm going to go with that's what happened. Do you know what they look like? No, we just know that they wear white and gold cloaks. This is from reliable first-hand accounts, of course. Some people have met them and lived to tell. I did. In my dreams. You want to hear about that? About what I dream about in my brain? Underneath those cloaks, however, is anyone's guess. Mm. Some people even theorize mm. that there's nothing underneath. Mm. That's pretty scary if you ask mm. me. They'd be like living spirits. Well, we're going to have to get under those cloaks now, won't we? I bet you and me can pull that off together. You're pretty charming, so we'll figure it out. Did they make that blade? I don't think so. As far as we know, they've had it forever. Ancient writings and murals have depicted the blade. We still don't know for sure, though. They could have found it. What we need to worry about is the power the blade houses. It gave them the power to enslave an entire world of innocent people. We must never resort to the same thing. I want to destroy it when this is over. Are you Thanos? You're like, I want to save the world with my infinity exodus sword. And once I'm done with the exodus sword, I shall wish that the exodus infinity stones sword blade shall never be used again. Is that your plan? Will the blade of Exodus be enough to kill them? Maybe. I'd like to think so, yeah. It's actually a bit ironic, isn't it? No. Their own weapon. Used against them. Well, that's actually pretty common. As soon as You'd you be surprised. Use it, we'll be good to go. Okay. I have no doubt in my mind that it's strong enough. You were chosen by the spirits for this destiny. What is your evidence? Can you present that to me in a list form? Okay, maybe not. Tell me your thoughts on our comrades. Sure. What would you like to know? Everything. What do you think of Valesa? You you spoke two words to her, so what's your thoughts? Tell me all about well, it. Well, I don't really know anything about her yet. Exactly. But I'd like to change that if mm. I get the opportunity. Mm. I think she seems like a wonderful person. Ooh. Are you uh getting a little sweet on her? <laughs> she is very beautiful, but keep in mind, she's all about the lean, so <laughs> don't you get too close. Unless you want both of us. Then I'll think about it. What was I doing? Four time. He seems really uh, energetic. <laughs> Honestly, you'll have to ask me again in the future. We just haven't had the chance to hang out just yet. We should all hang out. Let's play some like mini golf, maybe. We can get a beer. He likes apples. Do you want to get some apples? He can't. Don't let him pay for it, though, because that can go very, very wrong. Uh, what, Ulrich. Ulrich is one of my best friends. He really is. There's no man I'd rather have at my back in battle. He saved me from dying more times than I can count. Why? <laughs> the rebellion basically hinges on my planning and his strength. Oh. He'll be at the front of every charge. I can guarantee that much. Good. There's because no he's a big dude. World quite as strong as him. I like to watch him leave, if you know what I mean. Wait, what's going on, pro? Right now, I'm a little upset with him, but I'll manage. <laughs> he's my go-to man when something involves being sneaky. 
His reconnaissance Good. work has been a great boon to our efforts. I suspect that you'll be working with him closely great. in the future. Big a bouncy lot of our final bones. attack on Balteus will involve a stealthy infiltration, but we'll get to more of that in the future. So no need to waste time on it now. Fair enough. Anyway, what do you think about me? Be honest now. Sexiest thing you've ever seen? Don't be shy. Well, I wouldn't know where to start. You're such an important figure to both me and my army. But to Alestia, you're going to be known as their savior. I know. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I have to admit, you're a bit different than I expected. What do you mean? Is well, it because I'm over... I think you'd be larger than life? But I guess that's my fault. You're just a normal person. Is it because I'm older than 27 and you're you're judging me because I'm older than 27? Is that what you're trying to say? Because uh, I don't know about that. The thing that makes you special is on the inside, not the outside. Well, I guess it just benefits us that not everybody can see that, right? We wouldn't want you to be a walking target for the enemy to find. Uh, well, I'm probably the only lemur in town, so it's going to be hard to hide me. Anyway. Sure. Anything specific? Yes. Could you speak into this definitely not a microphone about your battle plans? It's definitely not well, one. I'll have you rest for the day. Then we'll start training you with the Blade of Exodus tomorrow. Oh, good. I think that slow exposure therapy will be the best possible approach. How slow? As you build a tolerance for its power, mm -hmm. you'll be able to wield it longer. Are of you talking you'll about... Also be training in the basics of swordplay. Hmm. Ulrich will make sure that you learn everything you need to. Are we still talking about the sword that I need to use, or are you trying to edge me? Never mind. We have the benefit of foresight here. We know the Triumvirate will be busy with Valinorth. You can train and we can attack Balteus right under their noses. Also under yours if I go boopy boop boop. If I get the boop going, hold on, let me just get the boop going, let me get the boop going, I'm gonna get the boop, 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 boop. I can't reach you, oh, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, and it's something you'll be hearing more of. We have some stuff to take care of for now. Not now? You'll get Out in the open? The you don't want to tell me all Trust about me. it? Okay, fair enough. Probably in chaos and disarray? True. We Very can't expect true. people to embrace the new leadership. Uh, we'll is that you or me? me because, well, also for Tame, he's the elder. <laughs> he, that's going to work out Anything well. Anything we can learn about the Triumvirate will mm -hmm. also be useful. If we can prove that they're frauds, the people will accept us easier. The only question is, how in the world do we go about doing that? I have a vision a dream you want to hear about that either way we'll have lots of work ahead of us winning this battle doesn't mean we can sit back and rest we'll have an entire world to rule and reform i can't wait that's the part you're looking forward to <laughs> i hate to tell you this that might be the worst part of this whole thing uh you mean imbue it with spiritual energy i'm not sure uh, but i wouldn't classify your nation as dead not just yet. The power inside of you is proof that we can redirect it. Great. Let's give that a shot. If the spirits can move power from the land to an individual, mm. well, there's no reason to believe that the reverse isn't possible. That blade is capable of so much. I think it will be the key to all of that. Great. Let's do it. That was it. That was our conversation. Yay, I can talk to... Who are you? Fortame? Why do they make it... Like, the only problem with this little sprite figure... And I'm just going to point this out. It's behind me, so hold on a second. Let me move over here. If you see this little sprite figure down here, doesn't it make Fortame look like a little cat? Like a little kitty boy? Instead of a bunny? So, that's confusing to me. But he's not. He's a bunny. So, that's confusing. Oh, heart to heart! Oh, baby, oh, baby, let's go. I noticed Fortame standing at one of the market stalls enthralled. I take a few steps towards or forward to see what he's looking at, and nobody follows me. It seems they're willing to give us some time alone now that we're in Maseo. 
Hey, Mazio. Check this out. I'm here. I'm literally standing right in front of you. He points at a bunch of strange metal objects attached to ropes. If I could describe them as anything, it would be metallic claws. I have no idea what they are. However, why is he so taken by them? You know, when I climb trees, it's hard to get a grip. But with these, I can just stab them into the tree and hold on. I didn't know these existed. What? It would make things so much easier. What? Are you... What? What? No. No. Fortame, no. That is not good for trees. You should not be doing that. Don't, don't do that. That's bad. He shuffles in place, thinking to himself. You don't think that would hurt the trees, do you? I mean, I kind of think it would. But I don't want to make him upset. He seems so excited. I'm going to go with that. Awesome. That's what I thought. I'll have to make money somehow and save up. This will make climbing the Grand Tree a lot easier. Just don't go overboard with your Wolverine claws. That's not a good idea. He leans a bit closer to the market stall looking for a price. And of course, there's no price on them. Probably so they can scam people too. I'll have to get Ulrich to figure this out. <laughs> you could become, you could grow a backbone. You know what I mean? We could work on that. He smiles and laughs softly before turning to face me. You know, these markets are pretty cool. What do you think about them, Seer? I think they're great. I haven't seen much because all I've seen is metal claws and apples. It's very diverse, though. I'll give it that. Uh, okay. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> they're pretty. They're a place. They're a great place to have our first date. I think that's what I think. Yeah. Oh, is that what this is? Well, I did want to have some private time, actually. Oh. Hey, I have an idea. Seer, follow me over here. We are being watched, so I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'll do it. He grabs that apple out of his pocket and gives me a sly smirk. The one that Ulrich bought for him, he must have not eaten it yet. As he runs away, I follow him, and we end up in a nearby back alley. Uh-oh, we're in an alley together. Uh-oh. I don't know what we're about to do, but let's go for it. See? Much better. I can actually hear myself think now. Let's grab a seat and relax. All right. We deserve it. We deserve it. I closed the window. There we go. He motions to the ground. It didn't seem comfortable, but it would do. I sit down and rest my back against the wall. He promptly sits down beside me. Holding out the apple, he inspects it almost like he's a bit hesitant to eat it. I wonder if it'll taste like I remember. It's only been around 20 years after all. Hey, let's share it. You should try some too. Great. I'll take a big old juicy bite of that apple. He giggles. <laughs> he giggles nervously <laughs> and then places his head on my shoulder. You said this was a date, right? No, I said this would be where our first date. Okay. Besides, I'd like to spend this moment with someone special. Should we call uh, Ulrich over? After a brief pause, he lets out a sigh of relief. I guess he was worried that the physical contact might not be okay. Holding up the apple, he inspects it one final time, blushing. Here goes nothing. What are we doing? I'm confused. Are we eating an apple, or is there something else going on? Moments after, he takes a large bite. And juice <laughs> drips down his chin as he shakes with excitement. Are we still eating an apple? Are we... Is that what happened? Is that what... Should I be changing the title of my stream? Should I be blurring anything? Do I need to blur things? Is there something I need to blur right now? I'm not 100% sure. He looks at me in his face and tells me... It was every bit as good as he remembers. Wow. You have got to try this, Seer. Okay. He holds it up, offering it to me. I'm pretty sure it's an apple. Guys, there's nothing going on here. Nothing. I just want to make sure that it is completely understood. Nothing. 
nothing untoward, nothing bad, nothing that Twitch would not approve of is about to happen. We're literally eating an apple. I will not be told otherwise. You cannot tell me otherwise. You can't tell me otherwise. Okay. I never got to try these when I was younger. But Fortame always spoke the world of them. Accepting it with a smile, I grip it in my left hand. <laughs> it's still, it's just an apple, guys. I swear to God, it's just an apple. I, I, to make Forte more comfortable, I wrap my arm around him. Why is, why are we making this worse? It's an apple! I swear! Apple! He leans closer, letting out a noise. I can only cry if he's happy. Uh, I swear to God, we're just eating a fucking apple! With a large crunch, I bite into the- Hey! The sweetness immediately assaults me. The overwhelming, and my eyes shoot wide open. It's shocking and delicious of an apple! That's literally all it is! I always doubted they could be as good as he said, with unequivocally wrong. See? I told you. It was totally worth the wait. Yes, for this apple. Of eating an apple together. That's it. And nod and hand the apple back to him. We share it with each other, taking turns until it's all gone. After placing the core on the ground, he rests his head on me once more. But so was this. What are you doing? Don't you dare. Don't you... He gulps as if he's nervous. You know, I've never been on a date before. Uh-huh. Honestly, this doesn't feel any different from normal. I guess that just means we're comfortable with each other. Great. I'm comfortable with you too. Maybe. As long as you're not eating an apple in the seductive manner in which you were. But do you think the other people will be comfortable with this? I don't think a seer has ever dated an elder before. Well, we're going to be the first celebrity couple. We're going to be on the cover of every uh, scribe, scroll, Possible? We're going to be on all of them. I hope we're not doing anything wrong. Of course we're not. They'll definitely be comfortable. Who cares what they think? I'm just going to go with that. Oh, okay. That's a relief. To be honest, I've always wanted to do this, but I was scared. I guess I'm thinking about things differently now. This music behind me is like the cheesiest music they play in this entire game but it somehow works so well. <laughs> you know, there's so much going on lately. It's nice to just put it all on pause with someone like you. I feel like I could stay in this alley forever. It's peaceful. It sure is. Except for all the noise over there because it's an alley and we're in a big marketplace, so... Kind of hard to avoid it. But I don't want to rush into anything, you know? Mm -hmm. So let's take this one step at a time. Slowly. Sharing this apple was good enough for me. Yeah, I know, because you made it the most sexual sharing of an apple of all time, so I'm pretty sure it can't get much worse. Anyway, releasing his grip on my arm and stands up. Back to business, I guess? Back but to mark business. mark my words, I'm going to get that climbing gear. Why? And a second set, too. Okay. I'll make an apprentice out of you yet. Is that a euphemism? Because okay. He smirks and runs back out to the markets. I follow after him and we regroup with everybody else. It was a nice distraction, but it was time to get back things back on track. That was it. That was all I got to do. Let's go. Let's go. Where am I going? Here. Mazeo Tavern. The mayor's house. Let's go to the tavern first. Before we meet with the mayor, we should definitely get drunk. That's a... I think that is the smartest thing we could possibly do. Get drunk at the, the tavern. What is this? Okay, that's where we were. This music reminds me of something. As soon as we enter the tavern, the smell of ale assaults our noses. It wasn't anything like Peregrino. This was on an entirely different level. Bottles of foreign alcohol line the shelves. I had no idea where to start looking. Good call, Seer. No trip to Mazea was complete without coming here. If it's time to I had nothing to do with bit, that. I'll just take a seat at the bar. I had nothing to do with that. 
Oh yeah, you're an alcoholic, so you go do your thing. I'll be right here. He gives me a sly smirk and immediately takes a seat. The bartender, who I can only describe as overwhelmed, takes his order. Pro takes a few steps forward and afterwards takes a deep breath. <sighs> you just can't beat that smell. Of booze? Me, I'll just be checking my mail. I've been in Valinor for a while. I'd hate to miss anything. Why is your mail here? How often are you at the bar? These are questions we need to know. Trotting off to the corner, he starts to inspect his mail. Where's your mailbox and why? Shelves with letters and numbers lie in the back corner of the tavern. He must pay to have an, an anonymous address or something like that. Taverns don't really do anything for me, Seer. I don't mean any offense by this, but I'll be waiting outside. That's not to rush your relaxation or anything. No, you deserve it. I mean, you can hang out a little bit. Don't be a little bummer, baby. Damick, are you a little bummer, baby? Are you a bummer, baby? Are you a bummer, baby? Because I'm on to you. All right. With a smile, he slowly backs out of the tavern. I guess this would be a good chance to talk with Pro and Ulrich. We haven't really had enough time to get to know each other yet. No, not like eating an apple in a back alley. <laughs> Nothing could beat that. Bless and Fortame take a seat, start talking amongst themselves. I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if I wasted a little time here. Ulrich is chucking a large cup of ale and Pro is carefully reading over some letters. Oh, here we go. We're I got these two and then nothing else because who would need anything else? Let's go do... Let's talk to Pro. What is this? There's a book here somewhere. So they're trying to tell me. I examine the shelves looking for anything of note. I don't find much except for a piece of some current news. I couldn't hurt to get a better perspective on Alestia's current state. Resting my back against the shelf, I start to read it. It seems to be about our land, our, our, our land in Thea, Ulrich's homeland. Apparently, things are not going well over there. Alarinthia's civil conflict. Could the next tournament held in Alarinthia's Coliseum be the last? Ooh. That's the hope of a new mm. uprising run by a juicy woman known How only juicy as of a comment. Wanting to change Alarinthia's form of government into something more modern, she hopes to bring peace and organization to the otherwise savage lands. Juicy. The Who's this Vivian person? Has always had the ability to change the rules. None have been interested in anything other than retaining their I must know. and proving their strength in Alorinthia's deadly arena tournaments. If Vivian's forces were victorious, Vivian? she would have the ability to complete God damn you, Vivian. the rules that I'm on to you. However, because she's approaching the upcoming tournament with brains rather than brawn, it would require a miracle to secure victory. Chances are, Alorinthia will likely remain under the grip of Dracu's strength. Who? However, how am I supposed to know what these words mean? Likely to live on. Perhaps Who is Drake? Dracu. A recent Mazan. Am I supposed to know that? Was that discussed with us prior? I'm not sure if that's the case, but whatever. I don't think we know what that is. I wonder who this Vivian is. I don't know. I also don't know who this Dracu's is. So, Ulrich would definitely side with someone like her. He thinks that Alorenthia should be more like a mainland. Maybe. There's still a book. No, I got the book. That's all there is. Let's see what's over here. You ever drink this stuff before? No, I pointed at a piece of wood. So, no, I haven't drinking wood, Ulrich. Do you drink wood constantly? He motions up to the bar, gesturing broadly at everything. He never... I've never seen a bottle of alcohol like that, so I'm totally clueless. We're in a completely different region of Alestia. It's all new to me. You have to join me. I can pick out the good stuff. Without me, you'd just be wasting time. You... Have you, like, gone bottle by bottle and said, that's the one for me? Half the stuff on display isn't even that good. To be honest, they keep a lot of the good stuff down there. That's the opposite of every bar everywhere. <laughs> he points underneath the bar. I guess that made sense. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. I don't... I, am, I haven't started yet. He holds up his glass before taking a huge swig of ale. It just doesn't compare to what they had at Peregrino. Anyway, I'll let you take care of your business. I'm right here. 
You were the one who said this was the better place. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, it's a book of Arenthia's civil conflict. Another book! Arenthia's I found two books! Conflict. Oh my god! Could the next tournament held in Alarinthia's Coliseum be the last? Maybe. That's the hope of a new uprising run by a mysterious woman known only as Vivian. Oh, Maybe this is the book we already saw. Never mind, I've already, I've already done this. So, are you having a drink? I am, are you? I want to see you drunk. I really do. Are you drinking? You drink it from that big bottle on the back right there. It won't take much, I'm guessing. No, I'm good. There's too much to focus on. No, no, no. I, as the seer, I, as the <laughs> seer, order you to become drunk immediately. Get to work on it, you two, now. Yeah, do it sometime, you know. Yes. Maybe after all this blows over. It's a war. How long? What do you think is about to happen? That could take forever. He's right. It take some time to unwind. Yes. Are you getting something? Please? Yeah, I'm still deciding, though. I don't know any of this stuff on the menu. It's like we're in a completely different world. Please? Didn't Ulrich have to buy you that apple earlier? Where are you getting the money to order this stuff? I bored, I fronted him some cash. I just really want him to get drunk. Not because I want to take advantage of him, but because I, well, well, not only because of that, but also because I just really want to see him drunk. Oh, good question. I'm used to the way things are in Valinorth. Almost everything is provided to us Only because of cool our roles. Only the kids join the conspiracy on Discord. That's so, true. I can see why you are not there. Just saying. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe you should go sweet talk Ulrich. If it's on him, maybe I'll consider trying something. Oh, I bet you could sweet talk him. Sounds good. I think he likes me, so this will be easy. Wait here. We'll try the fanciest thing on the menu. Or the most of it. Okay. What's over here? So, are you nope, a that's drink? the same no, conversation. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. We already had this oh, conversation. Yeah. I'm out of here. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. So I guess I can do these conversations. Let's start with pro. Ooh, heart to heart, huh? This is the big conversations, guys. This is where things get spicy. Pro rests his back against the mailboxes, sifting through letters. He must be pretty popular, as his hands were full of paper. I can't even imagine if I got that many letters in Valinorth. No. Oh. <laughs> hey there. Oh, hey there. <laughs> What's going on with you? Are you thinking about... I know you are. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Are you a seal? Are you really a seal? I really want to know. He looks up at me, startled, and turns to face the mailboxes. As if in a rush, he starts pulling various letters into various boxes. Wait, all of those letters weren't actually his? Uh-oh. Well, uh, you caught me. <laughs> uh, just don't tell anybody else, all right? This is one of the best ways to get information. Oh, I won't tell no one anything. If only you were to... <laughs> oh, an accomplice. I've never actually thought about that. I guess it could make things a little easier. Yeah, I'll take plenty of notes for you. Under the table. Stand guard you know for I mean. me, all right? Let me know if anybody approaches. If I get caught, I can play it off as a misunderstanding. Right. I'm going to stand right here. I can't see anything around us besides you over there, and that's pretty much all I got. So if I see anybody, which I definitely won't, we'll hope that goes well. Oh, don't worry. Just a little mix up. <laughs> Trust me, it works pretty much every time I'm caught. It's so easy to win people over. Just admit you did something wrong. I don't think that's a good idea. They'll immediately switch their stance to defend you. Oh, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. <sighs> People work in such weird ways. They do. Also, you might be a seal. He turns back to the mailboxes and raids them once again. I guess he's assumed it was okay since I was one of his comrades. A big smile appears on his face and he borrows the private information. 
It's amazing what some of these people get up to. The most innocent people could be involved in awful things. Like what? See, I can beat blackmail, but, uh, <laughs> these people can't. Well, tell me an example. I would love to hear one example. It's a good way to line the rebellion's coffers. So later today, I'm going to pay this guy a visit. What did he do? Tell me all about it. I want all the dirt. I want every little detail. Start from the beginning. He taps one of the papers in his hands. It would seem a reputable business owner is up to no good. Mm. I think he'd lose some business if people found out he worked with pirates. If I got him to pay me off, I could feed the rebellion for months, Seer. Okay, let's go. We're going to go together right now. We're going to make that happen. He looks at me as if waiting for my approval. Is everything okay? I'm not scaring you away, am I? This kind of stuff isn't for everybody. Nah, let's do this. <laughs> now you're talking. This will be my biggest score in months. I'll get it done tonight, and then celebrate in my room back at HQ. Ooh. Feel free to pay me a visit. Ooh. I'll be down for some quality time together. Ooh. Ooh, my. <laughs> nice. I mean, you still want to be friends, right? I hope all this danger doesn't scare you away. I'm not like this all the time. Trust me, Seer. Listen, I'm already dating the bunny. So, it's fine. We can do whatever you want. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick with it. I did this in the last game. So, I'm going to stick with it here. Anytime there's a chance to flirt with any character, I'm going to stick with it. That's my plan. It could go horribly wrong, or it could go horribly right. So, let's see what goes down. Wow, that's... I am forward. pretty forward. Does this... Danger stuff turn mm. on or something? Turns me all the way you on. What, uh, don't answer that. <laughs> you know, you know, just what I'm about to. Hmm. I'm at the door. Right. Look, I have no idea what you're after. I think you have a pretty good idea. I don't know what I'm after either. Okay. If you want to pay me a visit later, we'll see what happens. Oh my. My room back at HQ is pretty big and luxurious. We can crack open a bottle of wine to celebrate my big score. I'm not going to promise any more than that, all right? Well, then what's the point? Get out of my face. I'm out of here. He carefully places the letters back into respective mailboxes. Clapping his hands together as if to brush off dust, he looks right at me. Squinting his eyes, it's almost like he's trying to judge or gauge me. I gotta admit, you're a bit different than I expected. Well... That's, That's surprising, true. Since I'm usually a good judge of character. Oh, you can't you figure this subject guy out. To write about, you know. Mm -hmm. I shrug, unsure how to respond to such a thing. Uh, now I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. Let's just stick to the plan. Bottle of wine, Rebel HQ. I have a new target, so I should probably get going. Okay, have fun. I wouldn't want to stop you from having your fun. You may be seal. Maybe. He smiles at me and rests his hand on my shoulder. There's not many people I can talk to about this kind of stuff. If I have to be honest, I'd say I'm kind of glad that you caught me. Hmm. Next time we talk, it'll be your turn to spill some secrets. Ooh. All right? Okay. I got... You don't know what kind of secrets I got, so be prepared for that, buddy boy. With a sly smirk, he slowly walks away from the mailbox. I guess I, now I know a little bit more about Pro's true nature. But in a time of war, I guess you had to resort to stuff like that. Damik must not only allow it, or I can't read. Damik must only allow it out of necessity. I'm sure Pro would stop this behavior once the war was over. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. So rather than condemn him, I chose to take him up on his offer. Leaning, learning more about him over a drink had proved to be entertaining. And at the end of the day, it wouldn't hurt to make another friend. <laughs> or maybe more. I turned back to the tavern already on the move for my next step. I gotta talk to Ulrich. Let's go. Ulrich, heart to heart one. Here it goes. 
I sit down beside Ulrich and look over at him. A couple of empty glasses strewn about the signal he's about to he's already had a few. However, he doesn't seem to show it, not at all. He's calm and collected. Hey Seer. Hey you join me? That's I can recommend me. a few drinks if you'd like. I you want something strong or should we start weak? Strong? Well what do you think of me? Very, very, very strong? What have you heard? I think I want something strong. I want something super strong with the biggest deep V I've ever seen. Perfect choice. Barkeep, more of the same. All right. He motions to the bartender. A few moments later, I'm given a glass. Ulrich watches me with a smirk and as I take a large swig and swallow it down. It's strong, almost enough to make me cough, but I maintain my cool. I thought that'd be a bit much, honestly. Mm-hmm. Let you know you can handle it like that. Yeah. It's strong, but not quite on my level. Okay. Fruity Bruno! I love to see another playing uh, Winds of Change. I must have played it four times or so times and watched other people stream it like four or five other times. Well, welcome to the stream, and I'm so glad to see you. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it, Fruity Bruno. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Conspiracy. And yeah, we're playing this game. I'm having a grand old time with it. I played um, Call Rebbe not all that long ago, so I'm happy to play this one too. Uh, I'm seeing some uh, similarities between the story and some of the themes, so really fun stuff. Want another one? I do. What are you in the mood for? Oh, you know. What do you think? Anyway. Now you're talking. Yeah. yeah. I promise you won't regret this. I won't. I won't. But what did you just give me? Because I wasn't paying attention. I just drank out of the glass. Once again, he motions to the bartender and I'm given a drink. I can tell that this is one is stronger. It's exactly the same as Ulrich's. As time passes, I notice him start exhibiting signs of inebriation. I grip the glass and take a large swig. It burns! My eyes shoot wide open, and I try not to spit it out. As a, It's a brief battle, but I eventually stomach it all. Are we still talking about drinking here? Anyway. Wow, you're good. Ooh. Most people can't handle this stuff. Mazeo is known for its strong liquor. Okay, is it Mazeo or Ma Mazio? Because I've heard it said both ways now, so you guys need to make up your mind. He crosses his arms and stares at me with a blank look. But soon after, his facial expression becomes more stern. It's clear that the drinks are starting to hit him, and fast. I guess I'll stop messing with you for now. Truth is, I just wanted to see how much you could handle. Well... Test. Nice judge of character, and you passed. Are you... Why would that be a judge of character? Are you... Are you trying to see if I'm also an alcoholic? Because maybe... Was he testing me with booze? Not about someone by how they hold their liquor. You're strong, at least. You have okay. a strong will. Mm -hmm. I respect that. This is part of how they do things back in Alarinthia. Really? I That's an I interesting hate, conversation. And I truly do. But some of its culture sticks with me. You left Valinor, so it'll likely be the same. True. He waves at the bartender who brings another drink. I'm so gonna pass out. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still coherent. That's crazy. Swigging it down, he lets out a sigh of complete content. Sorry for rambling on like that. If there's anything I hate, it's a one-sided conversation. Is there anything you want to ask me? Okay. Right now I'm an open book. Now, you know by now, you gotta know my policy. And that policy is, I will flirt every time it is an option that is the one we're selecting. So, here we go. Tell me about that love life, Ulrich. Anyway. There isn't one to talk about, but that's by choice. I prefer to keep things casual without any strings. I have my reasons, but it served me just fine. Okay. He smiles at me and takes another swig of his drink. Don't worry. I've definitely noticed your interest. So that's why I'm making things as clear as possible. 
Knowing that, do you really want to continue down this path? Hell yeah. Only because I have no choice, but hell yeah. Good to know. Because I share the same oh. interest. Well, you live Ooh. as long as I have, you pick Ooh. up these things. No need to make a big deal out of this. It's hell. just fun. Sure, I'm down for that. When we get back to our new HQ, Dominic will give you a tour. My doors are open. If you want to do this, I'll be there. Just don't tell anyone. You know how rumors spread. Will this be after pro's party or before? Because I don't know if I could do the drinking of wine. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll get to that after the fact. Either way, I think I've had enough. I'm gonna buy a bottle to bring to my chambers. You'll I'm gonna be. Oh to God! Another drink. I'm gonna be so sick tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna be so sick tomorrow. I nod and stand up, but after all the drinks hit me at once, I stumble back and Ulrich catches me, wrapping me his his arms around me. Oh my! Those are some big ass arms. Hey now, watch your step. The ground here could do some real damage. I bet it could. But you didn't let that happen, did you? Thank you. Rather than letting go, his hands wander around. <laughs> my heart rate increases and I feel his hot breath strike my neck. Actually, I think I'll get a few bottles from my place. Something tells me we'll be having more fun than I thought. Um. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, a few moments later, before overstepping any boundaries, he lets me go. Buying a few bottles of wine, he keeps his word before moving on to other things. Socializing with tavern patrons, it seems like our moment was over. I guess we had to get things back on track. As enjoyable as that was, we had other business to take care of. Hopefully, we had more times like this to unwind in the future. Well, that was something. Pro, you've got something to live up to. Because uh, he really outdid you there. <laughs> he really outdid you there. Where am I going? Nowhere. The mayor's house. Bam. We follow after Damek and embark on what seems like an endless journey. However, after an hour or so of walking, we end up in the res residential area. The buildings here are built beautifully, very different from before. Wow, this place wow. is high. My town square was a little bit off. Not the best first impression, if you ask me. What was wrong with it? Was it me being molested by Ulrich that got you kind of in a knot? It's a sign of wealth to live far away from the markets. Only those Why? who work live near the town square. Okay. Once you've got it made, you move out here. That's weird, because like in most major cities now, living near like the, the good businesses is actually more expensive. So this is weird. That is, of course, unless you're important to Mazeo. Grizz gets to live here free of charge for his services. That offer even extends to Lilith, his assistant. Oh yeah, I forgot about Lilith. I remember Lilith. You L mean Lilith. Like elder back in Valinorth. Also us, because we've kind of d discussed that. Yeah, exactly. So make sure to be careful. We'll in do. this district, pretty much everyone is royalty. Or at least they expect to be treated that way. I expect it to be treated that way. I expect to be treated as royalty. True! And not a royalty. If you do not treat me as such, you will hear about it. All right. Thanks for the advice, Domic. Exactly. She moves to the back of the group, almost like she's worried. We continue to walk, but not for much longer. Damic stops in his tracks. To your right, Grizz's office. <laughs> Sorry it took a while, but you know how it is. It'll be an even longer trek back to our new HQ. I do? I don't know anything. I'm kind of dumb. He laughs and motions to the nearby building. It stood out from the rest of both quality and size. It's time for you to tell us what's going on. I hate being left in the dark like this. You know that. 
and you look so stern. Are you still drunk? Of course, of course. You know I'm a man of my word. No, oh, I don't. Talk to you about the stuff in the town square. He cracks his knuckles like he's preparing for something. He, for, he faces towards Valesa, Fortame and myself with a smile. It's almost like he assumes that Ulrich and Pro are up to speed, which they prob that would make sense. I don't think he needs to assume that because it seems like that would make sense if that were the case. Well, as you know, Mazio is rampant with okay, piracy. Okay, how is it All said? Of that chaos needs some sort of. I need order. you to battle this out right now. Two pirates have risen to the challenge: Alex and Nada. Can you two please decide how the name of this city is said? Is it Mazio or Mazeo? I'm gonna put it on you two to decide. If it takes a battle, go for it. You two wrestle right now. That would be perfect. Unifying all the pirates isn't an easy task, but they did it. They have established trade routes in the largest fleet in the world. We want to strike a deal with them and gain some ships. <laughs> Easy, right? No, that sounds incredibly hard. When we attack Balteus, we won't be able to hold back. Having enough ships to carry our massive army over is essential. And if we can get the pirates to fight with us, <laughs> even better. Okay. Grizz made it clear that he wants to cut a deal. In order to win them over, we'll need to bend to their will. However, after learning that Alex and Nada have started to fight... What? Have they... Started a fight? Now we have to choose who we side with. Uh-oh. They both want different things, but they both offer ships. That's why we're here. I imagine they're waiting inside. Both of them? Do we get to meet this Nada person? That would be great. He speaks with such passion and enthusiasm. It's enthralling. It was clear that he was truly cared about Alestia and its people. The future of Maseo is likely going to change. No, you it's said so it that way. I'll negotiate with them, and Grizz will make any necessary decrees. I just want my favorite people present. So that's why you're all here. We just met! I don't know how I could be your favorite person, but I understand it. He smiles and turns back to Ulrich and Pro. I trust there aren't any objections. Well... Ulrich, Ulrich scoffs, crossing his arms. You sure up to the scale of our attack? I thought we just planned to steal a few ships, but now you want an entire fleet? What changed? We need to give this our all if we're going to win. But remember, we have a world to reshape when we're done. Mm -hmm. Striking a deal with the pirates is something that needs to happen. Okay. I mean, we could wait until after the war, but if we do it now, we stand a better chance of winning. Plus, the people need to know that we're capable rulers too. Good point. Fair enough. I concede. Hmm. I bet you do. <laughs> Ulrich smiles, the promise of more power, and might is appealing his to his curiosity. That's brilliant, Domek! Oh. Taking care of ten problems with one move. Yeah. As usual. Mm. I'm just glad that they get to see for themselves now. What? What am I saying? Oh, he motions to Valesa Fortame and I. That seemed like a sound strategy, to be honest. Gain military might and prove himself capable of leadership. The people would need to know that he's worth following. Realizing Mazio or Mazeo, who knows, the grip of the triumvirate would uh, be a great start. Thankfully, Grizz was on our side, and that, would be a po that wouldn't be possible otherwise. Well, uh, I guess it's time. I'm a little nervous, but I'll manage. Mm, great. With a quick smirk, he's on his way inside. Pro and Ulrich go to expecting us to follow suit. Man, things are sure busy around here. You sure we get would to be rest right. When we get to our HQ. Come on, Fortum. It's interesting. We're watching history in the making here. If it's history, then it'll be in a book. I'd just sleep and read it when I get up. I'm really, really starting to regret my decision, Fortame. You want to be my elder. They talk amongst themselves as they enter Grizz's house. I guess they should hurry in. I guess I should hurry in so I don't miss anything. On my way. Oh, there's nothing here. The signs point in every possible direction. 
They're labeled things like Town Square, Residential District. A couple of other things say Dock, Church of the Triumvirate. I guess it was easy to find the directions in Mazeo. Or Mazio. It seems like the Rebel HQ is in the opposite direction. It's also on the sign, but it says obviously not the Rebel HQ, so don't come looking, is what it says. As I've learned, it's located in the tunnels underneath the church. Well, that seems a little weird, uh, but stealing the tunnels underneath the Triumvirate Church? Something about that seems incredibly risky to me. A little bit. I'm going to say a little bit. I'm sure Damik knows what he's doing, though. Mm. What am I doing? Okay, so... Grizz's house is much more impressive than the others. It stands just as tall, but is easily twice as wide. He must have a ton of free space in there. Good. Nope, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. I guess that's all we're doing. Can I, what else can I do? Maybe that. The residential seems, uh, seems to go on forever, but it's all flat. There's no elevation like in Valinorth. Back at home, the social status was determined by how high you lived. The elder lives right at the top since he's the most important. Obviously, he's the elder, so getting up there is pretty much hell. Uh, I was given the house right next to the main street, an easy walk to the Milas. I wonder how social status is determined in Mazeo. Maybe I'll ask Damik. Maybe. Or maybe not. Anyway, let's go forward. We're inside. When I enter Grizz's house, I'm taken aback how massive it is. At the front desk, probably for his assistance, rests a, or near the front door. But behind it is a massive atrium with a staircase leading up. I'm willing to bet that Grizz's office is at the top of that staircase. I look around and find Damik, Ulrich, and Pro chatting with a woman. This must be the assistant that Damik mentioned earlier. After noticing me enter, she quickly approaches us. Valessa and Fortame retreat behind me, leaving me in charge. I take a step forward and introduce myself to her without hesitation. I've heard so much about you, Seer. Oh yeah, I remember it's a you. To finally meet you in person. Hi, you must be Lilith. Everybody's been talking about you. She puts her hand forward and I give her a firm handshake. Valissa and Fortame seem immediately at ease, as she's very friendly. For a moment, I'm not entirely sure what they were expecting. I'm guessing that's the Blade of Exodus. No, that's my sandwich. It's a big party sub. She tilts her head towards my back. You can take that cloak off in here, by the way. Everybody in this office knows what's going on. There's no need to hide around Grizz or myself. Okay, I can freely not wear pants anymore. I have been given permission. Just so everybody in chat knows what's happening here, Lilith gave me permission. Pants off. Thank you. It's much more comfortable that way. I nod and remove the makeshift hood covering my head. I feel the fresh Mazean air on my face for the first time. Come back here with the rest of us, all right? I think they're almost ready to head upstairs. Great. You have any coffee or anything? That would be really nice. She motions towards the main landing area of the atrium. We move past her desk, which acts almost like a barrier. I'm assuming she acts as Grizz's guard as well, standing watch. After a few moments, we regroup with the others. They're talking amongst themselves, but Lilith brings that to an end. Clapping her hand together once, and very loudly, her attention is grabbed. Sorry, Lilith. Uh, uh, just lots to think about at the moment. I'm almost nervous to walk up there, if I'm honest. There's no need to be nervous, Domic. It won't be any different from the last time you were here. Just a few added bodies, that's all. Not the end of the world. Might be. It might be. You haven't seen my visions yet. So just you wait. We'll find out together. I just don't want to make the wrong choice. There's a lot riding on this Lilith. Yep. Have you made the wrong choice in the past? He may not know yet. We don't know. Well, I don't think so. Maybe. How would he know that yet? Then you'll be fine. Mm. Besides, Alex and Nada aren't too bad. They're both playing ball to get what they want. Like basketball? Or are we playing, like, baseball or pickleball? 
What are you hiding up there? That means they'll have to be on their best behavior. So if being in the presence of pirates was a worry for... Oh, no, that's not it at all. I'm more than happy to work with the pirates. You're right, though. I have a good track record. He lets out a nervous laugh before looking at the top of the stairs. I guess that'll have to do. Are they ready? Maybe. Yeah, they're expecting all of you. It might be a bit crowded, but you'll manage. Okay. You don't know that, but we'll, we'll pretend like you do. Did you happen to overhear anything? You know, so I don't go in blind? Yeah. Be our spy. Unfortunately, no. They're being very discreet. Okay. Wait, oh, well, Alex is the one the with the ears. Finally time to do Alex this. is literally Are the one with the ears. Everybody? Oh, I can't wait. I want to pet his ears so bad. Uh, he looks at all of us one by one, and we nod. I can tell he's trying to delay this, but I'm not sure why. Grizz will give me a debriefing when you're done. I know you're busy, so after this, just go on your way. Lots to do and little time to do it, right? You're right. I got two parties at the HQ already planned. So, uh, she glances at me and the sword of my back before walking away. It seemed like this was a quick detour. It wasn't going to be quick at all. During these negotiations, everything could change. Hopefully, Damick would be able to get what he needs. I just hope that the pirates' demands aren't too extreme. With the high ground, they had the right to request anything. We all look at the top of the stairs, ready to get this thing moving. This would be a very important moment for Damick and the Rebellions. To that end, we should keep Grizz waiting for too long. Okay, oh, no, we shouldn't make them wait too long. I just have like several conversations yeah, I have to do, watching. so hold on a second. If you have not also, I gotta find a I book. That might be one right it? there. Come Important on. papers are stolen about the desk. It's not my business to read them, but curiosity overtakes me. I slowly approach the desk and try my best to make out what I can. It seems to be a bunch of papers regarding upcoming shipments. It's correspondence between Grizz and Mizeo Shipping Company. Underneath those papers are letters between Grizz and the Triumvirate. Hey, get away from there. Well, I'm sorry. Those papers aren't for your eyes. I'm sorry. Top I'm sorry. The mayor. I'm sorry. Then why leave them out in the open like that? Good question. These are great questions. Before I continue, she gathers them up and takes them away. <laughs> She's running all over the place. Lil must be a busy girl. She might be. My bad. Shouldn't be touching things that don't belong to me. I'm a bad boy. There's a book sitting wide open on one of the desks. It seems to have a news article, and recently written too. I inspect it further and learn that the details of Mizeo's piracy. The blurred lines of piracy. The pirates of Mizeo undertake the importing and exporting of illicit goods. Everything else is handled by the Mizeo Shipping Company. Mm -hmm. There's little else that divides the two factions. They both have established trade routes, a large group of workers and clients all over Alestia. Many people see the pirates as harmless individuals, simply looking to make a living by seizing opportunities that others don't. The way that pirates are treated today is vastly different than before the Triumvirate's occupation of Mazeo. Was that intentional? We have to wonder if this was the Triumvirate's goal. When asked his opinion on this matter, the local pirate lord Alex had this to say. Yeah, tell me more. I find it hard to believe that a small piece of paper is all that stands in the way of me and my people living an honest life. We don't hurt anybody or put anyone in danger. The people of Mazeo are clinging to a legal decree that makes no sense. I'd like to see the trade bans lifted and me and my people introduced into society as honest workers. That is my dream, and I continue to fight for it. You're pirates. That's but gonna be a little bit more difficult than you think. The other pirate lord refused to comment. Alright, well that's good. I guess things are more complex than I thought. It's almost like Alex is fighting for more rights. Although all that divides the groups is a piece of paper. Right. What else is in here? Should I know about? Let me look at there. The door to Gri that's the door that le leads to Grizz's office. Quite a dramatic sight, if you ask me. It definitely makes him feel more important. Underneath the stairs rests some sort of contraption. 
I had to guess it would be a statue representing a spirit idol. It's an artist's name and date on it. Must have been expensive. Sure is. Oh, I can't. No, it's just the same thing. Well, I guess we're going to go forward. Oh, no, I got to do these things. Hold on. Hey, Lilith. Hi, Lilith. Hi, Valessa. How are you? Yeah? Is there a library in Mizeo? Like, a place to read up on the spirits? I have some stuff I'd like to look into. Hmm. Unfortunately, no. The Triumvirate seized all of that long ago. <laughs> the what now? Or has it, they've stuffed it all in Baltaeus. The what now? Could you please repeat that? Could you say that word one more time? You mean at the Grand Library? The Grand Library. Yeah, but I don't know for sure. It's just ancient rumors at this point. Mm-hmm. Ancient? Ancient. There's a group of people that say so, yeah. They think life existed on Alestia before the Triumvirate. The so what now? Could you please so say that again, please? Otherwise. Okay. That's impossible. Uh-huh. Hey, I didn't say they were a smart group. But nobody's been to the Grand Library to see. The Triumvirate keeps such a tight grip on Volteus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep, like focusing on the pronunciation there it just is so out of left field so they can't prove their theories but at the same time we can't disprove them right exactly unless you visit the grand library you are going to Volteus, right maybe i don't know that's the end goal yeah yes then maybe we'll find out soon Whatever knowledge they have in there, we deserve to know. I'm sure Domic will open its doors to everybody after the war. We don't know that. Okay, that was a great conversation. Let's see Who what these have to do. With, Lilith? Who do you side with? What do you mean? Like, between Alex and Nada? Yeah. Let's get that juicy little secrets out of you. Yeah, the pirates. I was just curious, that's all. Well, I don't know their demands. That would play a big part in my choice. But even then, it's not my place to decide. Oh, I'm not asking you to decide. It's just a hypothetical question. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, take your time. It's not an easy decision, after all. Well, she doesn't know their demands, so that would be a big part of her decision. Alex, hands down. Okay, never mind. I guess she knew after all. Or you could answer instantly. But why Alex? It's the ears. It it's the ears. They're so adorable. I want to pet them. Can I pet the ears? He treats me with respect. That's what. Not on the other hand, well, that's a different story. The way I look at things, there's two types of people. There's only two? Those okay. that use others as stepping stones for success, and those that respect others, rising to the top together. Nada is the former, and Alex is the latter. She's ruthless. Mm, I'll have to keep that in mind. She's pretty much double-crossed everybody but Grizz. If that ever happens, trust me, I won't be surprised at all. Alrighty, we'll find out. I have not met this Nada person, so that should be interesting. How do we know we can trust her, then? Well, we'll find out. Well, her and Alex have the edge in negotiations. They have what we want, so they can demand anything. I have no doubt that Nada will try to gain power and influence. These are the things she'd usually stab others in the back for. But now she has an opportunity to get it just by helping Grizz. Oh, I guess that makes sense. She's only in it to get what she wants. Yeah, that's pretty much what was said, word for word. So, well done, Fortain. You have solved the mystery. You are Scooby-Doo and crew all by yourself. Yeah, and Alex, on the other hand, I'm sure his demands will benefit more than him. That's just the type of guy he is, so I like him more. But you guys are not making this a very difficult decision. All right. Thanks for the information. No problem, little one. <laughs> little... She's like, oh, you're so cute. Thank you, little one. I'm going to save real quick because I don't know what's going to happen, so let's go. All right, there we go. Let's, uh, I guess we can go upstairs now. We all enter the office in sync, and everyone inside stares at us. It's odd, but at first glance, I can tell exactly who everybody is. 
Sonata takes a few steps forward with a sly smirk on her face. Late, are you? Oh, Good to know hi. Word is trustworthy. It's not like this is important or anything like that. Hi, that's a nice hat. Also a big feather. So, I've gained more respect for you in one moment. It's clear bait, and Domic doesn't take it at all. Instead, he smirks back and approaches Grizz and the other pirates. Actually, this meeting doesn't start until I arrive. So, Nada, you're actually early. Very obedient of you. A bit softer than your reputation cites, but I'll let it slide. Well done, Domic. Well done. <laughs> well done. Appreciate that. She struggles to conjure up a comeback and simply shrugs. Damic approaches Grizz's desk and waves us all over. It isn't much longer until we are cramped together. Grizz, I'd like to introduce you to the seer. That's me. I take a step forward and offer a hand to Grizz. He rises from his chair and gives my hand a firm shake. It's an honor to meet you, seer. And those two must be your friends. They are. They're pretty cool, right? I nod as he looks at Valesa and Fortame. Say, have you three been to Maseo before? I can't put my finger on it, but you look familiar. What do you know about our... Did you kill our parents? Or were you there when our parents died, just like you murdered Steve here? I'm going to have to make that assumption. I shake my head, and he promptly returns to his chair. He looks at all us one by one and lets out a loud sigh. <sighs> oh, well, not that it matters anyway. I'd like to thank you all. I for really hate it when office. Steve looks right Today, at me. Today we discuss the matter. Really of hate it. And the pirates. What have you got for me, Grizz? What Surely do you have their got demands for me? laid out on the table? Yes, of course. I made them write up their demands in private. I didn't want them influencing each other in any certain direction. Okay, good move. Good plan. Good plan. He points out two pieces of paper resting on his table. They've turned upside down, so nobody could read them. Here's how this is going to work. Uh-huh. Neither pirate knows which paper is theirs. Domek, you and your allies are to read each one. Got it. Afterwards, each pirate is to explain their demands out loud. This is to make sure they haven't gotten greedy or changed their mind. We also need some witnesses, which is why I had you bring some friends. Okay, that was not discussed with us, but fair enough. At that point, Domek may converse with his allies. When a decision is made, we will both sign the chosen demands. To avoid any conflict, neither pirate will learn if they were chosen. A great, good plan. When everybody leaves, the demands will be mailed back. The pirate that receives a signed paper today will know they were chosen. There is no time for drama or infighting on my property. Understand? This is a very convoluted plan, but you I know understand. what? I accept that. Domic looks over to Nada and Alex, awaiting their approval. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Uh, do we get to see Alex? Because I just want to get my hands ready to pet those cute little ears. Me there too. they are! Oh, let me pet those ears! Me too! Damic places his hand on the desk, looking over the papers. But before taking any actions, he turns his head towards me. Seer, I'd like your input on this. You're no stranger to tough decisions, right? I've made literally two, so I'm an expert at tough decisions. I'd like to see how you think about this kind of stuff. You must have had some reason to keep Peregrina, right? I'd like to see your process, for the lack of a better word. I basically go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. I choose that one. That's it. That's my entire process. I nod and walk up to this standing beside him. We are stared down at two papers hesitant. You may begin the first phase. Remain silent, but read the papers over. You have not seen me ever. I will not remain silent. There's nothing you can do. A few moments later, Dammit grabs one of the papers. He inches closer to me and slowly turns around. It's Alex's offer. How do you know that? He wants to trade bands to be lifted on Maseo 
And if this is done, the pirates must be all offered, be offered jobs in Mizeo's shipping company. Piracy will be no more, and Mizeo will turn into a nation of free trade. In exchange, he can offer the ships and crew of those who side with him. This makes up approximately 35% of the total pirates in Mizeo. He cannot guarantee how Nada's followers will react to this change. Damik places the papers face down and quickly grabs the other one. He shows no expression, wearing the perfect poker face. Turning the paper around, it seems or it's time to see the other half. It's Nada's offer. She wants Mizeo to be deliver divided into two. If this is done, all of the pirates will move into a new nation out of Mizeo's way. Of course, she must be declared head of this new pirate nation. Furthermore, she, her demands include more details about the division of Mizeo. It's done so in a fashion that gives both sides equal market and residential space. Mizeo currently owns all of this, so it would, negatively, so it would negatively affect the nation. I can speak words. In exchange, she can offer approximately 65% of the total pirates in Mizeo. This includes a massive arsenal of ships, making Alex's offer seem inconsequential. Both the bands share one thing in common. Pirates' criminal records are to be wiped. Damik places a second paper face down and shrugs. Well, I guess that's it then. Grizz nods. Indeed, we can move on to phase two. Alex and Nada, it's your turn to step forward. Your verbal demands must match the papers. Okay. Does Steve have anything he wants to uh, add to this conversation? Little Steve up here? All right, never mind. In response to Grizz's order, they both step forward. The whole thing seemed incredibly well thought out. There was no room for error in any possible way. My demands are quite simple, actually. All pirates will have their criminal records erased. Furthermore, the trade bans will be lifted from Maseo. Pirates will be publicly pardoned and no longer ostracized. They will be offered jobs within the Mazeo Shipping Company. Our clients, our cargo, and our trade routes will all carry over as well. Uh-huh. This will reintroduce us to society and legitimize all of our efforts. Mazeo will be free as it once was and as it always should be. In exchange, I offer 35% of Mazeo's pirates and their ships. Okay. I have a counter offer. If we accept your offer, do I get to pet your ears whenever I feel like it? That is the only thing I will accept. He takes a few steps back, crossing his arms. Nada scoffs before vocalizing her demands. I can offer the other 65%. I think that puts me a cut above Alex. You don't have his ears. You severely underestimate his ears. It certainly gets a reaction from the others in the room. However, we can't get won over by numbers. We were deciding the future of Mosaio. I also want all criminal records expunged. However, my other demands are a bit more extreme. I want Mosaio divided in half. I want a new nation born. All pirates will be moved to this new nation under my lead. Mazeo will no longer be able to interfere with our work. I will determine where the nation is split in half. Uh, if it's in half, that's not really a determination. It would have to be, like, right in the middle. You know what I mean? I want both residential and commercial land. We will be given everything we need to live happily. That is my demand. A new nation built for piracy. Okay. She steps back, content with what she said. Grizz turns to face Damik and myself again. Does that align with the demands on paper? Uh, I was definitely pay attention to the paper. Steve, can you tell us what you think? Yes, I believe it does. Yes, I agree with again? Damik. You may take some time to think, talk with your allies, and then give me an answer. Got it. Oh, right, sorry, my mind is all over the place. There's no need to think. I already have my answer. Really? Because you didn't ask me what I... You wanted my opinion. You didn't ask for it. Oh, is that so? Yeah, of course. This one was simple for me. 
If he does the thing where he goes, it's real easy for me because I want the seer to decide. I bet he does that. I bet he's like, oh, the seer will decide. He crosses his arms and turns to face me. Well, what about you? Who would you choose? I mean, okay. I really want to pet the ears. And also, he was obviously the better choice. I know it's less of an army, because, uh, like, obviously, you would want, like, the 65% of the ships. But they don't have... She doesn't have Alex's ears, and I have to go with... I have to go with my heart, damn it. I can't choose anything other than my heart, and I really want to pet Alex's ears. I point to the paper that contained Alex's demands. Damick laughs and gives me an, a wide smile. <laughs> Great minds think alike, I suppose. Yes, you want his ears too. Idea. I Let's get it. We both want to pet his ears. I get choice. it. We're, we're both on the same page. He points to the same paper and Grizz brings out a quill. They waste no time in signing it and making an official decree. After that, Grizz rolls both papers up and seals them with wax. Nada, Alex, thank you both for your kind offers. I'll have these mailed back to you right away. You'll know within a few hours, I'm sure. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. This one's as good as mine. Oh, no, it's not. After saying their final words, they both leave. An awkward silence overtakes the room. Uh, you're all free to talk again, you know. We just didn't want Alex and Nada to know Domek's choice. Well, here's the problem. I know that by choosing Alex, I know Nada's gonna betray us. I get that. I'm not dumb. I know Nada's gonna betray us to the... What was the word? The triumvirate? The triumvir... The triumvirate? What, is, what does Lilith say? What are those? Okay. Uh, after hearing that, everybody else is at ease. Talking amongst themselves, they theorize who we chose. Well, Domic? I chose ears. Don't get jealous. I'm still coming to your room later. For that wine. And only the wine. Who did you choose? That's a very personal question. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Sorry for this little detour, everybody. We can make our way back to HQ now. We can. Let's go. Though I think we should cut through the docks. No, I it's got parties to go to. Make for a nice shortcut. We're already running behind schedule. Okay. He sneers at Pro, who quickly backs off. Ulrich takes the message as well and stops asking. I hope we got what you needed, Domek. Attacking Baltaeus will be no easy feat. No, it won't. But you we'll attack Steve fine, with an ease, and I it trust worked you well. Can handle things from here. Of course, but there may be some contempt coming. Don't be surprised if Alex or Nada comes fuming to you. Probably. Of course. Thank you so much, Grizz. We couldn't do this without you. Don't worry about it. Just make sure I don't regret this. Crossing the Triumvirate is a bad idea. You really need to discuss with your assistant that word. You won't, I promise. If you'll excuse us, though, we need to go. I still have to give them the grand tour, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Grizz nods, and it seems we're dismissed. Our next step was ahead was to head to the docks. Damick sure seems excited about this tour. Why? All right, let's go. Group morale has risen to 100%. HQ. We have a new ally and a lot more power. Power. I have the power. The power. Okay, that's enough of that. He holds a closed fist up to his chest, resolute. We're going to do this. I know it. I do too. With and with that, it's time to get things on the move. It, I'd finally start training and see the rebellion's new HQ. I made an important decision. Grizz's desk reminds me of Milas's place. It's messy, but he still has it under control. Everything is where it needs to be, and it works. There doesn't... Oh, wait, there's a talk between... <laughs> Bortame and Grizz. I actually do want to see this. Hey, Grizz. Hey, Grizz. 
Yes. Yes. Fortame, if you're not careful right now, you could end up as the other Steve. His other shoulder looks a little bare, so watch out. You don't want to end up like Steve here. What's with that sheep around? <laughs> <laughs> oh no Fortame it was so good knowing you I'm glad we had our first date and probably last date I'll see you later oh you mean Lassiter no it's Steve his name is Steve not Lassiter Steve I guess wait a minute wait a minute no that's John I was about to say it like I was thinking about like John Lasseter from Pixar, from Old Farmer Pixar, but I was thinking maybe it might be Steve Lasseter, but no, it's John Lasseter, so that doesn't work. I was about to say that would be really cool. When I was younger, I used to be a shepherd, but that didn't last long before I served the triumvirate. They made me kill all my sheep before they accepted me. Including Steve? What? What? I guess it was to prove myself, you know, that I'd leave my old life behind. I did what they said, but I kept a souvenir. That's really dark. <laughs> That's really dark. Oh, I see. Yep. It's always important to remember where you came from. Did you bring any souvenirs from Valinorth along with you? Yeah, we brought plenty of dead bodies with us. Like, it's in my pack. Do you want me to get it out? Because it's really deep in there, so it might be hard to, to find... Actually, no. Unless my clothes count. Are your clothes... He's wearing that. Also, what would you do? Depends who you're asking. Steve? I'm asking Steve. Steve, what do you think about that? But, you know, I'm not actually leaving Valinorth behind. We'll save it. And go back one day. I know it. That's one of our goals during this journey. You're right. That's the plan. I see. You're... you kind of see. That was a great conversation. Let's get out of here. Also, let's get out of here. Also, let's get to the map. We're going to the docks and then the Church of Mizeo, which... You know, what is this? You choose a... you chose to form a... oh, okay. Got it. Let's go to the docks. Let's do it. Keep this ball rolling. When we arrive at the docks, we finally get up and close view of everything. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this picture. With a massive shipyard, the vessels both arriving and departing. People run every direction, a mixture of workers and pirates. I suppose they share the same workspace. It's interesting how I can discern a pirate from their clothes and demeanor. After a few steps into the shipyard, we're surrounded by a ton of people. Hey, stick close to me. Wouldn't want to get lost, right? Oh, I'll stick close to you. I'll stick very close to you. <laughs> yeah. He inches closer to me as we make our way through the shipyard. It must be their busy hour or something because we can barely move. People bump into us and apologize before moving on their way. We're heading to that bridge up there. That one? way up there that's a long ways away he points forward to the bridge in the distance at this rate it would take hours to get there it's not that far Fortame lets out an exasperated sigh seriously how much longer is this gonna be Fortame, do not embarrass me he's handsome just because we went on a date doesn't mean he's any less handsome do not embarrass me i will Ugh. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Fortane. We'll be able to rest before you know it. Enjoy the journey. Mazeo is beautiful. It really is. All right. All right. Oh, you little pouty little baby. Oh, you little pouty little baby. Fortane continues walking, defeated. As we inch our way forward, we start to lose hope. However, it isn't long before we our hope is kindled again. Hey, Domek! Hello? A voice shouts up high, and we turn to look. There's a man at the top of the ships acting as a lookout. After seeing Damak, he quickly makes his way down to all of us. He slides down a ladder and quickly making his way to the surface. 
Standing there at the edge of the ship, he grips the railing tightly. Where have you been? Hi. Like I haven't seen you in ages. Well, how are who are you? I love you. You have very piercing eyes. I like that. He jumps over the edge of the ship, landing on the ground with style. I can tell he's a pirate. He must have another ally. That was good. In the upcoming battle, we need as many allies as possible. Grayson, Grayson. it's so good to see you again. Don't worry, it's nothing personal. I'm just busy. We've been cooking up something really special. Special, huh? Well, that's all you had to say. You know I've got your back in everything. Oh, yeah. And I've, that you don't look suspicious at all. He's giving him the old sus look right there, so I'm not sure what to make of that. Damik steps closer and whispers into Grayson's ear. Hmm. No doubt he's confiding in Grayson about our recent choice. Oh, an alliance? Beautiful. He literally we whispered it into then. your ear. And I must say, you made a fine decision, Domic. He literally whispered it into your ear. Did that not give you the indication he wanted it not to be said? Were you not, were you confused about that? He smiles and makes an interesting signal with his arms. A few moments later, a bunch of people on our way quickly move. Gotta get back to the church, I'm guessing? Sorry about my crew. They're good at getting in the way. <laughs> Why do you always look sure so suspicious? For these days. That's weird. Between every word, he glances behind Domic. His eyes shift between Valesa Fortame and myself. Can I help you with something? Yeah, you tell him, Valesa. Oh, sorry. Not at all. He just looks familiar, that's all. Like some pirates not I used to work with. Wait a minute. Are they gonna try to go the route that our parents were pirates? Are we part pirate? Am I part pirate? Am I literally like Jack Sparrow's like bastard child? Cause I'm okay with that. The lean that streams is I'm okay with that. An ongoing donation drive right here if that's the case, if I'm Jack Sparrow's Foundation. literal bastard child, I'm fine with it. Awesome way so it, I'm just gonna put out. that out there. To learn more, check out the Familiar. link in chat at thelemurreserve.org. <laughs> Chris said the same thing, actually. Just he sure did. Faces, I guess. No, you might. We might. I might be Jack Sparrow's bastard kid. It's possible. Not just any faces, mind you. I was taken aback because you look like legends. A few infamous pirates from back in the day, you know? Yeah, you know, like J Jack Sparrow, who definitely didn't have a child that was a lemur. That's me. So, definitely not that. Pirates? No relation, I assure you. You don't know that. She laughs and Grayson nods. Yeah, just a small world. Just a real tiny world. It seems like he's unsure if that's an insult or not. After, for that matter, so does Valesa. Grace, Grayson lets it slide. A few moments later, he climbs up a netting onto the side of a ship. It isn't much longer until he's back on top of the mast looking out. He shouts to his crew and they move aside, leaving an open trail for us. Were all these pirates his crew? He must be a man of great influence. It's always good to have friends in high places. He's literally up high. That's what the, the mast is. I get what you're saying. There's still people wandering the shipyard, but not as many as before. In fact, we're able to continue forward without any issues at all. That was Grayson. We go way back. He's a great ally and he'll have our back no matter what. I doubt he cares whether we sided with Alex or Nada. That was good. His crew seemed massive. The ship as well was in pristine condition. Well then, on we go. Onwards and forwards, always. As we talk, he motions to the bridge once more. We give each other some space, happy to be moving freely again. I guess we could resume our journey without any struggles. Oh wait, we have things to do. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, let's do this one first, because we haven't seen um, Savi in a while. Would you like Parallel Chronicles Savi 5? Yes. Yes, I would. Savi and his crew wandered, uh, wandered the crowded docks of Mazeo. They stuck close together to ensure that Shane didn't run away. They're here? Right now? 
close to the Rebellion's home, Zabi was sure it crossed his mind. Well, you sure seem a lot happier. Back on the boat, all you did was mope around. Zabi scoffed, turning to face his apprentice. <laughs> Seasickness, I suppose. As old as I am, I've never really gotten used to it. How old are you? You don't seem that old. Are you like, based on this game's rules and place? I'm looking at you. If you say he's old because he's like 29, I'm I'm coming for you. I will I will not let that slide. You can't be too much older than me. Right. Sorry. Besides, I think I know what's going on. You realize something about the triumvirate? Mm hmm Yes, I did. I see through the trick now. It was a good idea. I'll give them that. Trick? Yes, to put my loyalty to the test. There's no way what they told me was true. They merely want to see if I'll waver. Mm-hmm. I don't buy that, but I'll accept your I answer. See. I see. That's why they wouldn't tell you either. This was a test. Meant only for me. I think you're failing it. I think you might be failing so, it. So, what happens now that you've passed? Are you sure about that? Did they give you a passing grade? Did they literally write A plus on your paper and set, or maybe C plus, or maybe a C minus? I don't know. Whatever passing grade is here. I guess I'll find out once we return. I'm just glad that I can focus on the mission now. Okay. Right. I'm glad too, I suppose. On the boat, you were in no condition to perform. What do you mean by that? After a few moments of walking, Savi stops in his track. Halen and Shane bump into his back, causing him to stumble over. Master? Master? Oh, sorry. Just a lot on my mind. Does he have a little sweat bead right there? Is that actually a little sweat bead? Okay. Savi, are you cuter than I think you are? Are you going to pull off the little cute thing here? Because I'm okay with that. Oh, we're not lost, are we? Maybe. Savi stares at the cloaked figure in the distance. He smirks and watches them through the docks with a group. A large item affixed to their back sways with each of their heavy steps. No, not at all. Uh-oh, I think that's me. That's not the thing you think it is. That's my back penis. I have a back penis, and that's what that is. So don't stare at it because people are going to think you're weird and that you have untoward attention. It's my back penis, Gecko. Who doesn't know it's me? That's not a sword. Well, it's a kind of sword. What's going on? <laughs> don't worry about it. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. I think he knows we're here. I think he knows we're here, everyone. All right. Um, let me take a look around. There's a bunch of houses lining the docks. They look fancy. How's it going, though, Nason? I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain. We're having a grand old time playing this game, and uh, it's a blast. I love this. Uh, they look fancy. Workers come and go, telling me that it's a place of business. Near the back, I notice the houses are more run down. Pirates move back and forth between those houses. I guess society's only left them the scraps to work with. Hopefully, things will be better for them soon. I'm going to be sure of it. There's a massive ship dock surrounded by workers. They don't seem to be dressed as pirates, though. Must be part of Mazeo's shipping company. Wow! That ship wow. is so cool! <laughs> wow! Ships be like that, Dominic? Oh, hey! Gecko! This is going to get exciting because not only... Last time I saw Winds of Change stream, oh, there was a revolution you know, in villages burning. Has anything changed since then? Changed. Yes, Nason's so many still things have changed. Navigate his way through the mess. Oh, sorry. I mean, we asterisk It's a wild <laughs> ride, and I'm just here enjoying the show. Right, Snakes. right, right. That's what I'm doing. But so many things have changed. We're in a big city. I had a date with Fortame. I may have slept in the same bed as Fortame, and then elected him elder which is completely unrelated to us sleeping together 100% I didn't give him the elder job because we slept together that is I will not accept those allegations also um, Ulrich and Pro 
uh, both want me to come to their quarters tonight um, for a party alone. So that's a thing. Anyway, let's move forward. Of course, we have only the best. Actually, ours might be better. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Pirates put more care into their ships. They don't just work on them, they live on them. Yeah, congrats they on the new relationship. To to. It's not just one. That's kind of the thing. It's not just one. <laughs> so pirates he are homeless? He doesn't know yet. Uh, pirates are homeless? Well, not exactly. A ship still counts as a home. They just share it with their crew. Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So ours will be even fancier than that? That's pretty hard to imagine. I'm excited. You sure are. Yeah, just be very careful. Pirates are super protective of their homes. If you broke something, well, uh, let's not think about that. Uh-oh. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, is that a, okay? I can do a talk with. Um, I can do this talk. Hey. Hi. How are you? Uh, what do you think of Mizeo? It's interesting to say the least. I agree. It's a lot busier than I thought it would be. It makes Valenworth look dead by comparison. Right. I'm actually longing for that peace again, though. We just got this here. This place is chaotic. There's so much going on. Hopefully the Rebel HQ will be a bit like home. Just going full on harem, I see. I'm not trying. I just have that kind of magnetism, I guess. That's what the seer does for you. When you have this big sword, you know, people get attracted to you. I guess you can't really help it. He seems to know what he's doing. Does he, though? I had some doubts going into this act. <laughs> sure, sure. That's what they all say, right? Who? Well, you know. How charismatic he is, you know? It's a lot easier to follow somebody like that. Some people demand respect. He yearns it. Are you saying that as a dig on me? I'm on to you. What are your thoughts on Pro? To be honest, I'm actually not sure. He seems nice, but I have my doubts. There's just something about him, you know? I'll let you know after our rendezvous tonight. I'll give you all the juicy details. <laughs> if you know what I mean. It doesn't help that he likes to cheat people. That's probably it. He is on our side, though, so I doubt we have to worry about him cheating us. Well, um, about that. Anyway. He's the strongest person I've ever met. I'm yep. sure he'll be protecting us a lot in the future. I don't really have anything bad to say about him. You better not, because he might murder you. He can be stern, but he has the best intentions. I mean, he has no patience for wasting time. Him and Fortin make an interesting combo. Yeah, I kind of got that too. There's a little bit of a thing between those two as well. How are things between you and Fortin? Pretty good, actually. I was worried. You know, about some of the choices you had to make. We've never really let them get between us, though. We can, though. There's something he's not telling me, but I doubt it. He's always been fully open with me in the past. I wouldn't worry about anything at all, Sierra. And already. Okay, that's a good conversation we just had. I think that's pretty much everything in this area, so I guess we can go. Uh, where are we going? HQ. We need to go to the Church of Mazeo. Onward and forward. Beautiful. After what feels like ages, we reach the end of the bridge. We all stop and catch our breath and let our legs relax. Damick wipes some sweat from his brow, laughing. Oh, bits of a workout, isn't it? Hopefully the trek was worth it. So, what do you think of our home? Uh, I feel kind of bad about having the uh, parties we're proposed to have at a church. That just feels weird. Um, but okay. He stands proud, staring at the nearby church. After getting his bearings back, we look in awe. Whoa, this place is crazy. I've never seen anything like it before. You're right. I haven't either. Yeah, it sure stands out, doesn't it? Don't worry, that works to our advantage. 
When hiding, I find the most obvious spot is the best. Yeah, no one would ever look at the most obvious place to look. I guess they'd never expect their own church. But here's a question. Uh -huh. Why are there only two statues? It's the triumvirate, right? Shouldn't there be three? That's Steve. No, Steve's the... Okay, that's Diumvirate, and that is Unumvirate. This is their church. I don't know, actually. It's a bit odd when you think about it. It really is. Maybe they didn't have enough space? <laughs> like, oh, we meant to put up three statues, but oh, man, we ran out of room. Guess we should have measured twice and then cut once, but we measured once and cut twice. He laughs, awkwardly shuffling in place. Perhaps he found his ignorance embarrassing. I trust you're ready for the grand tour? I'm ready for the grand tour. <laughs> I nod, looking over to Valesa and Fortain. It seemed our long journey was over. We were here. This was our new home, whether we liked it or not. Yeah, I can't wait to see. Me neither. I'm game. Let's do this. I <laughs> like she's like, I'm game. I mean, we're here after all. They both smile, ready to get things moving. Damick takes a few steps up the stairs and waves me over. After you, of course. It would be rude to do this any other way. An esteemed guest of ours should always be first. Yeah, the thing about me in churches is that I don't tend to do well there, but okay, let's go. I nod and get ready to enter the church. Ulrich Pro and Valesa and Fortame wait for any my move. It's almost as everybody respected Domic's authority. I'm gonna look around first and then do some talking. Wait a minute. What is going on here? I'm very suspicious about this. Is there going to be a, a little bit of flirting going on here? Is there going to be a thing going on here? Okay, well, let's start with this thing. Are you about to approach upon my bunny bun? <laughs> we'll see about that. Let's do Grizz 3. Grizz sits at his desk with his head in his hands, emotionally drained. Lilith enters his office, showing concern, but decides to talk business instead. Grizz, sir. The papers have been sent back out. Alex and Nada should know momentarily. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A slightly shot, Grizz late raise, shakes his head and rests his hands on his desk. Thank you, Lilith. I couldn't do this without you. And Steve. You give me too much credit. I'm just a glorified paper pusher. You do all the heavy lifting, you know. Well, he would probably be pretty good at it. He looks like he is very adept at heavy lifting. He sighs and rests his back against his chair. I have a problem with oh, with this guy, though, because I'm just saying, like, he's like the mayor of this apparently pretty affluent and fancy town. And his he looks like he lives in the hills somewhere in like a warrior tribe. But I don't know. And it's starting to weigh down on me. Lilith. The mayor is jacked. He's so jacked. Oh my god, he looks so cute right now, though. Except for the dead body resting on his shoulder. Um, of course, sir. Anytime you'd like. It's about the occupation. As you know, I was involved with it. Oh, also, they're hinting... Gecko, you're not going to believe this. They're hinting that we... Like, as in me, Fortame, and Valesa. Good thing there's no sheep sonas in this world. There might be. We don't know yet. Um, they're hinting that this occupation thing, we talked about this way back when. And everybody thinks that, like, our parents came to Maseo and they were killed as just, like, people who were visiting. I think we're pirates. I think that I... The seer, me, the lame, might be Jack Sparrow's bastard child. We're about to find out. Yeah, but that was ages ago. It's all in the past. You're a better man now. Looks like someone's deep in thought with those <laughs> the Lee Elevenhams. Maybe contemplating the mysteries of the universe or just trying to figure out how to beat a tough boss in Winds There's of no bosses in this game, Either but... Either way, keep those thinking caps on. Gecko getcho gecko. You got it. That's the funny thing about the past, Lilith. It always has its way of catching up with you. It sure does. 
What do you mean? Honestly, I wouldn't know where to start. But recently, Tomek agreed to work with me. I wanted exclusive access to Mazeo's spirit idol. You lost me. I'm sorry. Do you need help? Do you need, like, a map or something? I want to atone for what I've done, Lilith. So many spirits trapped in those suits of armor. An eternity of mindless servitude to the triumvirate. Uh-oh. And you can fix that with the spirit idol? I hope so. Part of me always had some doubt. But today, I realize that this is my destiny. I can't doubt it or hide from it any longer. Destiny? I'm not sure I buy into that stuff. I'd rather call the shots myself, you know? You're a secret. Never mind. Well, maybe purpose is a better word. At the end of the day, this is still my choice. But I wasn't certain until today. I saw something. Yeah, you saw the bastard child of Jack Sparrow. What did you see? I just said it. Were you not listening? Back during the occupation, I killed so many innocent people. Made orphans out of so many children. I've been facing that for the last 20 years, but today was the first time I faced it in person. Mm -hmm. It's the seer and those two companions he had with them. That's me. You mean Valesa and Fortem? That's them. Yes, Lilith, all three of them. I couldn't put my finger on why they looked familiar, but I just realized it. And I know I need to take action. Okay. Are you going to do what you did to Steve to us? Because I don't like that idea. He placed his head back on his hands and almost ashamed. Spitting images of uh -oh. people I killed during the occupation. I have no doubt in my mind that their parents died by my hand. I played a part in condemning them, forcing them into this war. Uh-oh. He clenches his fist, trembling as he looks back up at Lilith. And now, I must play my part in ending it. I'm going to those tunnels, right now. Whoa, look at that. That's a very determined face right there. Uh, we're not in there yet, so th th take your time. Uh, I'm gonna do... Uh-oh, he's going to sacrifice him. He probably will. Hey. Hi, Pro. How are you? Not really, to be honest. Okay. You've already seen pretty much all it has to offer. It's constantly busy, and it never really stops. True. I can't even imagine living close to the docks. They work overnight, so it'd be too loud to sleep. The best places are either Grizz's area or RHQ. In the church, you mean. So you got maybe it. we can talk more about that once you see it. Mm -hmm. It's so silent underground, you can hear almost everything. Makes it pretty easy to sleep. If you get the time, that is. Perfect. Uh, what are your thoughts on Valesa? She's pretty cool. Seems to be pretty by the book. You have I, no idea. I don't see her breaking any laws or anything. I don't roll like that. Obviously, I live in a moral gray area. You also have gray fur, so that makes sense. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah. That's not to say she's uninteresting, though. I just don't see myself getting too close to her. It's better for me to stick to like-minded people. Like a seal that you might actually be? <laughs> I, I have a theory that he's actually a seal and not a dog. Who knows? Maybe she'll prove me wrong. War has its way of compromising almost everybody. I was born into this life, but... I'm sure others can adapt to it. This is a weird conversation with like the really like powerful, dramatic, like church music going on in the background. Now, he's a guy I could see myself getting along with. Wow, everybody Can't loves Forte. I time with him in our HQ. Uh -huh. He speaks his mind, he's energetic, and he's careless. Perfect. Wait, Everything am I you about need. Him or myself right now? I don't uh, know. Yeah, you get the idea. We're like peas in a pod. I'm sure we'll have no shortage of good times. Everybody loves Fortame. It's just, it's inevitable, I guess. Fortame's like a puppy. Who hates puppies? He really is. What are your thoughts on me? Tell me. Oh, <laughs> you sure like putting me on the spot. You're right, uh, I do. I, I think you're cool. I huh? mean, from what I've seen. Huh? 
At first, I didn't really have a clue, but it's better now. Okay. You've had to make some tough decisions, Seer. That's one way to gain my respect. Push through adversity. I still want a one-on-one -on -one interview with you in the future, though. All right, you can have a one-on-one -on -one time with me, I promise. It seems like you're starting to become quite important. I'd hate myself if I missed the opportunity to probe your mind. Wow. Uh, that's something we can talk about later on, though. We're busy. Okay. We can do that anytime. How often do you walk this far? Well, pretty much every day. Except for the last couple of weeks since I was in Valinorth. It's not too bad once you get used to it. I absolutely adore walking. Good, because I'm guessing we're going to do more of it very soon. It just takes some getting used to. That's all. Sometimes when I have it in me, I can even sprint. Running to the market from our HQ is pretty intense. Huh? Nobody is interested in doing it with me, though. I need a workout partner to keep things interesting, you know? Everybody else defines working out as sparring in the barracks. You don't like, like, running? You, oh, you don't like sparring. You're like, okay, so I got to do this thing where I say where, because clearly they have a little red heart next to this, so this should be interesting. So, Ulrich. This should be interesting. I'm very curious to see what happens here. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you and the seer in that tavern. You two were getting awfully close. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was touching me in ways that I hadn't been touched before in a while. Your point is? You know we're kind of dating, right? We had our first date in the town square. Poor Tame, shut the fuck up. Shut, shut oh. the fuck up. That's where that was? Shut the fuck up. Oh boy, gossip, I know. Yeah, then it was pretty awesome. Mostly thanks to you, though. Shut and the fuck up. Apple. I was hoping you shared together. Maybe I was playing matchmaker all along. No, you weren't, because you, you were... You, okay... Yeah, right. Nobody is that smart. You're not giving me enough credit, little one. Anyway, you don't mind that we're... No, oh, of course not. The more the merrier. <laughs> this year has a lot of love to go around. Hell yeah, I do. I got so much love, baby. All right. Yeah, more than I thought, actually. I'm sure you and I will be getting closer now, too. Oh my, this is getting even better. Anyway. <laughs> no objections here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that took a turn right there. Menage a trois. I can't process your question because it seems to be in the following <laughs> categories. Sexual. This may be an error, but moderators may take action for repeated abuse. <laughs> Theo, oh my God. <laughs> well, I appreciate the restraint. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I think you're fine. I think you're fine. <laughs> All right, the church looks so out of place. I've never seen anything like it before. It doesn't look like Bizan or that's for sure. That looks creepy. It does look kind of creepy. That's very creepy. Those look like death. It's modeled after Balteus. That's what things look like over there. And that's where we're going next. Just great. Now I'm even more afraid. Who makes stuff like this anyway? These guys do. You know, these guys in the robes, they do it. Your guess is as good as mine. It doesn't fit in with any part of Alestia. Balteus is really distinct. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'll take your word for it. Right on. Anything else? What's over here? Uh, that's the bridge we used to come here. It was structurally sound, but I didn't like the feel of it. Part of me was scared it'd fall apart right underneath us. Damick showed no signs of worry, however. That put me at ease since he was a local. If he was scared, I knew I would be as well. Okay. Anything else I could uh, point at? Nope. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go inside, shall we? Shall we go inside? Everybody, everybody ready to go see the church? Ooh, very pretty. 
As soon as we enter, Damick walks down the center aisle. He trails a finger along his the pews as he does, gathering up dust. Not much time for triumvirate worship these days. No, not even a little bit. He makes his way to the spirit idol at the back of the church. Clamping his hands together, he frees himself of the dust. This is the spirit idol of Maseo. Or so we thought until recently. Yep. He remains dust-free, unlike the rest of the church. He places a hand at the, on the altar, looking up at the idol. We assumed it was dim and dying. You know, like the idol back in Valinorth. But that's not the case at all. We were shocked. The reason it's dim is because it's receiving power. However, the source of the power is deep underground. That's what the Triumvirate has been digging for. Oh, okay. And so you guys thought, you know what would be a great idea? Let's put our base where they're digging towards. The entire reason for their occupation. And now, it's in the hands of the Rebellion. First their sword, <laughs> now the idol they sought. He turns back to us with a wide smile on his face. It would seem the tables are turning. Feel free to rest for a few minutes. There's still a bit of a walk ahead. How? We've been walking forever. Seriously? We're walking? <laughs> When are we going to get to rest? You are so lazy for a rabbit. Rabbits run all the time. You should be fine. Trust me, you'll get plenty of time to rest. Just take a breather before we continue. Yeah, get ready to go. He points to the pews before walking through the door in the back corner. This door will lead us to the tunnel, Seer. It's the final stretch. I can promise you that. Whenever you're ready... Let's head on down. All right, I'm ready. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. He presses his back against the wall and crosses his arms. Everyone seems glad that he was offering us a brief reprieve. I just want to get to where we're going. I take a few moments to collect myself before we head down. I bet I have conversations. Oh, no. Are you two going to get close? Is that the plan? I think they're going to get close. What is this about? No, not yet. I'm not ready. Okay, let's do... Who are you? Oh, that's Forte. Only the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. So, I can see Okay, why let's you are do not the there. Savvy thing. Just saying. We'll do this. Continuing their adventures through the dock, Savvy keeps, a close, keeps close to Shane. Leading everybody into a secluded back alley, he lets out a loud sigh. It was nice to get away from the noise. Mazaeans were obnoxious. What gives? This what isn't gives? the way to Valinorth. But I guess you do like going backwards. What does that mean? Oh, we'll get there yet. I just have some business to tend to. Shane, can I talk to you alone for a moment? Oh my. I think you two are adorable together, so let's see. Shane nods and follows Savi deeper into the alleyway. Halen takes note and stands guard, ensuring their privacy. Look, something important has come up. You're aware of our moles within the Rebellion, right? Yes, I'm... no. Wait, did I know that? I'm actually not 100% sure. Alleged moles. Well, if... you know... He, he, he seems so sure. Yes. Well, I found this at our drop point. I think it's something you'll be interested in. Ooh. Savi holds out a letter, prompting Shane to take it. It's a letter written by Domek. Why is this important? Just read it, Shane. It's from Domek to Valnorth's elder. It seems your capture was just part of his plan. Ah. Uh... What? Ah. Uh... That's not good. That's definitely not good. I know, right? Seriously. Shane keeps reading the letter. His eyes shoot wide open. That does not seem to be the case. Uh, every word was like a knife to his heart. He was betrayed. He wanted me to get captured? Look at this. It says he hates me. I get the feeling that... Really? I'm sorry you had to find out this way. But your mission was only a cover. He wanted to kill you off, Shane. I mean, it could be a forgery. I'm kind of guessing that's the case because it seems a little convenient. That's not true. I refuse to believe this. I know Domic. 
He wouldn't do this to me. I kind of forgot you existed, so... I'm sorry. Are you sure about that? It makes sense when you think about it. He sent you there to gain intel, Wow, right? rip Shane, right? I know, right? Poor Shane. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, what's your point? Yeah. He already had all the intel he needed. That was the purpose of the Exodus Raid. They mapped out our entire castle, Shane. What intel is there left for you to gather? None. Domic just wanted you out of the way. But why? Why would he want that? <laughs> no. No. We were merciful enough to give you a chance, Shane. We could have killed you, but we still found value in your life. I think that's way more than anything Domic can say. Well, if you're fall, I don't know if I'm buying this. Shane's biting his biting this way too quickly. Yeah, really, he really is. It really does look like his handwriting. How would you know? Are you like a handwriting expert? I have no reason to lie to you, Shane. You're his captor. You have lots like of reason to lie to him. <laughs> you literally it have every like reason to lie to him. Lost, like all it? of the reasons. Why, why, why would you believe that? What should I do? Nothing. Literally nothing. You were planning to run away, weren't you? Maybe you thought you could lose us in the crowd? It's a good idea, but there's no home left for you there. Good point. He probably was planning that. Why did you wait until now to show me? That's a good point. Also, he has every reason to lie to you, so I don't know why he said that. Because I have a favor to ask of you, Shane. And remember, I would never abandon you. I've had every opportunity to kill you. A favor? Savi takes back the letter while he watches Shane fight back his tears all. Oh, that makes me sad. It was a hard thing to accept, being disowned by your family. But it was a pain that Savi knew all too well. He could relate. He didn't respond just yet. He watched as silent rage built up within Shane. That would be perfect. For rage was an invaluable tool on the battlefield. With a smirk, Savi finally broke his silence, placing his hand on Shane. Don't worry, I'll still let you visit Domic and the Rebels. It's just... I have something different in mind for you. A chance to... pay him back, if you'd be so inclined. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This has Palpatine corrupting him. He's like, let me tell you about the story of... Uh, what, what's it? Um, um, oh God, I forgot the name of the guy. It was something the wise, right? Freaking, it was like, uh, his master, Palpatine's master. What was his name? I can't remember his name. It doesn't matter. Shane's first fits tre or fist trembled in anger. In this moment, he was right where Sabi wanted him. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, wait. No, that's his line. My mistake. Okay, that was interesting. Let's talk to Fortum. Hey. Darth Plagueis the Wise. That's it. What's up, buddy? You haven't been talking to Ulrich, have you? What did you guys... I saw you talking. What did you guys talk about? You want to tell me about that? Okay. It's crazy. I don't know what to think. Just when I'm comfortable, something new is thrown at us. The markets, the residential districts, and the docks. Those are the three places we've been. You're right. Valinorth is pretty much the same no matter where you are. To see things so different? That's a real shocker for me. I'm not sure what my favorite part has been so far. The back alley where we we, we ate an apple together in a very non-suggestive way. If I had to choose, though, I'd say the residential district. Oh, not that, then. Being able from the noise and free of work? That's like a dream come true. Everywhere is so noisy. I assume you get used to the noise, but it's still there. You know what I mean, right? You just learn to ignore it. I'd rather not have to do that. It'd make things way easier. I mean, you're not really, like, actively doing anything. You're just getting used to it. You know? Not that difficult. What do you think of Domic? He's so cool. Oh, I know, right? I want oh. to be more like him, if I'm honest. Oh, you should. Everybody respects him. Yes, we should definitely do that. Okay. 
He's going to make a fine leader after this is over. I actually doubted the rebellion, but he. Well, I'm actually not sure he's going to survive. So hands. we're going to do this. Okay. He might get stabbed by Shane based on what we just saw. So don't get your hopes up. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Pro? I didn't trust him at first, but he's growing on me. Oh my! I know he does a lot of shady things, but he only does. out of necessity. Mm. I have no doubt in my mind that after the war is over, he'll change. Why? Why do you believe that? What do you think about Ulrich? Ulrich is probably my favorite person so far. Oh. I mean, he gave me free money oh. here. Free! Oh. It's all thanks to him that I'm I got hurt. to taste a mosaic and apple. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I am absolutely hurt, Fortame. I am devastated right now. I know, Gecko. he just hurt my feelings so hard. That's the one thing I was looking forward to. He's been nothing but friendly since we met him. I'm sure, sorry. He's strong, but he's really gentle. I take our date back. I take it back. It never happened. It never, ever happened. Never. Time to time out for Tame, seriously. Who would have thought that a guy like him has a soft side? Either way, yeah. Ulrich has been great. He's teaching me a lot. Maybe one day I might even learn how to use a great sword like him. The sword is bigger than you are. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> how do you feel about the rebellion? I feel great. There's not much to say. We have everything we need in order to win. I can't wait to see our new HQ. Our new home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the end of that. All right, let's see what this one's about. Because I'm curious with like the little heart and lovey-dovey stuff between these two, because I never saw that happening. Hey, Fortum. Oh, what's up, Fortum? Yeah? Yeah? I saw you and Nasir run off into an alley earlier. That's me. We did. What were doing back there, exactly? Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't you worry about it. Oh, we were on a date! God damn it! <laughs> Would you shut the fuck up? What? Seriously? No. Whoa, don't act so surprised. You might hurt me. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut up. You shut up. No, shut it's Shut the fuck not up. That. There's just so much going on. Are you sure that won't interfere with anything? No. Of course not. I think we're smarter than that. Besides, it was perfect. We shared a mosaic and apple. Yeah, it was the best date of all time. We shared an wow, apple. how romantic. Okay, you didn't say that with a lot of enthusiasm, so I don't believe you. You had to be there! Well, you could have been there. We could have made it a threesome. I would have been okay with that. I think I'll pass. It's good to see you No, 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 wait, wait, wait. There's let's not, let's not take, kind of stuff. let's not leave things off the table. There's just too much in my mind for that kind of stuff. Just wait until we get to the Rebel HQ, Velessa. It'll be a life of luxury. You'll see. There'll be plenty of time. We're in a war. Do you understand what wars are? We can dream. We can dream. That wasn't as romantic as I thought it would be. Anyway. So this is the spirit idol of Mizeo. At least that's what they thought until recently. I can see why they'd make a mistake though, actually. It looks like a spirit idol. Well, a dying one at least. But to think, the real one is deep underground, and allegedly it's massive and full of energy. It'd be the first time I saw an active spirit idol. I'm just looking around, looking around. There's a window. The sun shines intentionally, illuminating the interior of the church. I can see every bit of dust lining the floor and the pews. I guess they spent more time dusting underground. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, uh, let's go, shall we? Let's go to the base. Let's get our base on the tunnels, the exit, the main entrance. We're starting in the tunnels and got it. Okay, here we go. As we enter the door, we spend a few minutes, 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 descending into darkness. Well, that's some very ominous music we just started playing here, isn't it? Soon enough, however, we reach an area with torches lighting the way. It seems to mark a path straight forward. This must be it. Wow, it's so dark. I can't even see where I'm going. There's lanterns. Look behind you, there's lanterns. Just give it a few minutes. Your eyes will adjust. I remember my first time down here. I was terrified. Really? 
He presses, he presses his back against the wall and waits. We all do the same and wait until we can see. The torches only help so much. We put a majority of them in our actual HQ. Basically, we only have them down here to... He cuts himself off and looks further down the tunnel. Everyone quiet. Backs against the wall. Okay, now. I'm gonna do that. We all do as instructed, and I notice an aura of fear overtakes us. I stare down the tunnels and I see a suit of armor start to emerge. White and gold, just like in my visit, vision, it takes a slow, clunky steps. I look over at Valesa and Fortame, she's fine, and he's shaking. He glances back at me and I nod, letting him know that things will be fine. It's much longer until the suit of armor reaches our location. It stands over all of us as we press our backs against the wall. It's almost like it can't see. It has no idea we're here. That's odd. It even turns its head to the side, looking straight at us without reacting. After a minute or two of standing guard, it turns around and walks away. Its steps echo through the tunnels, loud, metallic, and hollow. It's frightening. But when it's far enough away, we all sigh and stand at ease. We're safe now. What was that? Uh, it's a guard. He just can't see nothing. He's blind. The Triumvirate's honor guard. Oh. They're the ones that built this underground complex. How could they have done that if they Best can't see? Interfere with their efforts in any way. Got it. Why is that? Because they'll kill you. They're guards for the Triumvirate. What did you not understand? They're almost like caretakers, so we let them be. All we know for sure is that they're disobeying their masters. Really? Yeah. At least that's what it seems like. Rather than search for the idol, they built a utopia. I think that was the choice of the spirits inside them. Interesting. Spirits? Yeah. They were created by the Blade of Exodus. The spirits inside are victims of their vicious occupation. Ooh. Right. Then it's just like the seer said. Wait, victims of the occupation? Yeah, it's sad, really. They want to live again, so they built a home. That is pretty sad. Valesa looks sad and takes a few steps back. It doesn't take a genius to realize what she's thinking. Having been a few minutes, our vision has adjusted. Sorry about that, everybody. Those things are brittle and weak. If we so much as bump them, they fall apart. They're not very good guards, then. I would just have, would just have to say that the Triumvirate seems like they don't have very good guards. Wait. Really? You want to try it? Just go over and give them a boop on the nose. Yeah, there's nothing inside. They're controlled purely by spiritual energy. They were strong at first, but they're weak now. Got it. It's almost like it degraded over time. Who knows, maybe we can even power them with that blade. A bit of irony, right? Use their own forces against them. It might work. This is all so complicated. No, not really. Like, it's basically just don't touch. Don't touch them. Yeah, and I'll admit that even I don't know everything. But we won't get to that point if we don't keep moving. Yeah, we gotta keep moving instead of talking. But I bet I have, like, conversations I can do. He motions to the end of the tunnels. So... Shall we? We shall, except I probably have... Nope, as we nod, we continue to move through the tunnels. However, Damik seems distracted. Something is on his mind. I guess even a man of his position can't have a grasp on everything. Everyone makes conversations amongst themselves as we continue. Perhaps it would be a good time to talk with Damik a little bit more. It seems like we have a good bit of walking ahead of us after all. Oh, it is romance time. Here we go, everybody. Let's do it. Let me look around, though. I can see a makeshift doorway at the end of the tunnels. There must be an entrance to the Rebel HQ, finally. It's a bit far away, but I'm glad it's actually in sight. What's the matter? Are your legs so? Very. We've been walking forever. No, not at all. I'm just running out of breath. Is it a little stuffy down here? Or... Yes, very yeah, stuffy. Is. Don't worry. You get used to it. A small price to pay for privacy, if you ask me. Perfect. Right. Right. Okay, uh, there's lanterns. There are torches lining the tunnels, freshly lit. 
It must require a lot of maintenance to keep these tunnels accessible. I hate to be down here when those torches die out. Sounds terrifying. Thankfully, they don't seem to be at any risk of fading away. We could stay down here for a while without any worry. However, that doesn't seem to be any of our on any of our agendas. Hopefully not. Okay, let's do this. Hot the hot with the damage? Hell yeah. As we walk down the tunnels, I make my way to Damick's side. I ask him what's on his mind and the peoples behind us give us space. I'm thankful for their consideration as we finally get some one-on-one -on -one time. What's on my mind? Ooh. Oh, it's nothing too major. Say, can you keep a secret? For you? Okay, remember, my policy is if flirt is an option, I'm doing it. I don't even care how many people we are flirting with. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to do it. Okay, your name isn't Fortame, so yes, you can keep a secret. Yeah, right? Here we go. Again with the flattery. I am all you about that flattery. Impression, you know. If you keep doing that, I might just get the wrong idea. Oh, you better get the wrong idea. All right. He blushes and shuffles in place, embarrassed. I'm not sure why he trusted me so easily, but I'm not complaining. Sometimes it's hard for someone in a position of power to have confidence. About that suit of armor earlier, I think I scared everybody with my caution. Uh, between you and I, that was a bit of an exaggeration. Uh-oh. Like I said, those things are brittle and weak. I just didn't want anybody to knock them over, you know. If we kill one of them, what happens to the spirits inside? They get released and they're free and they no longer suffer inside a body of their not choosing? That was a good question, actually. I want to find a way to free those spirits trapped inside. Something tells me that killing them won't accomplish that. This is the sole reason why I tell everybody to leave them alone. No, Gabe. Okay. Now oh, they're harmless. They mind their own business. It's my belief that we should give them the same courtesy. That is, at least until we find a way to give them more freedom. That's fair. I'll accept that. Though they don't serve the triumvirate, they're still trapped. Nobody should be forced into a position like that. They're just like us. Spirits of family and friends. Spirits of innocent occupation victims. Like our parents? Like Jack Sparrow, my bastard father? He lets out a loud sigh, and like the ability to vent is a godsend. I can tell that this is something he's been keeping inside for a while. Sorry for rambling on. I think I'm just trying to defend myself. Last week I accidentally bumped into one. You absolute jerk! I'm just kidding. It crumbled and fell to the ground. Oh no! I felt absolutely awful. It's like I killed them. Who knows how many spirits were inside that one suit? Is that possible? Can you do more than one? I mean, in this war, I have to draw blood. I have to kill. But normally I reserve that punishment for our enemies. No, Randy. We're talking about the spirits of long lost family here, Seer. Yeah, like ours, mine, me, Fortames, and uh, Valesa. Probably, probably the case. I feel like I did something wrong. I almost feel like I'm a murderer, you know? It's odd how blurred those lines can be in war. Maybe. Kill the enemy leader? You're nothing short of a hero. But kill a citizen going about their business? You're a monster. That's Maybe cheesy. The I'm, the day, that's what we are. That's Monsters. cheesy. I'm going to say the cheesy line. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. But I'm going to have to say it. Because that's my policy. I wish that's what I felt like. It's just so much pressure. I guess you know what it's like. We continue walking down the tunnels as he bends. I can understand why he's coming from, and I can relate. I was all about the greater good, regardless of what we did. Everybody expects me to lead us to victory. They call me a master strategist and shower me with praise. But at the end of the day, I'm just following in his footsteps. Salus was the master strategist. I just worked under him. They say I fill his shoes quite well, but I don't think that's true. I think they need something to believe in. They need hope. Well, you know, you're doing okay. Don't be down on yourself. You could be a great leader too, and I believe in you. They pushed that need for hope onto me, and I became that hope. Honestly, I think I'm more of a symbol than anything else. I'm sure you know what I mean. You're the seer. 
I have a big sword on my back. So, yes. You had this role thrust upon you whether you wanted it or not. It's kind of the same for me. I'm the general. I had no say in the matter. This pressure and all those expectations. I'm afraid I might break. Oh, come on, Damik. You're doing fine. You're doing great. We really need to have like a little chat Do chat. Do you have any advice? Let's share our burdens together, Damik. Oh my God. Okay, let's do it. It's my policy. I can't break it. Together, like uh, second in command. I actually like the sound of that. We'd be a team. Something to think about at least. Thank you. Baby. <laughs> it's not just going to be second in command because basically this whole group we're with, we're all going to be like one entangled mess. I guess there's not much more we can do, huh? Perhaps we'll have some more time to talk later on. My doors are always open to you, Okay, sir. but I'm busy. I've got like two parties and also possibly a third. And then everybody's tied for second in this house. I know, right? Uh, he gives me a slight smile and we continue to walk. At the end of the tunnels are growing ever closer. It seemed like his le this leg of the journey was over. Okay, we did it. I did the thing. I flirted with Damik. I did it. Where are we at? We're going to the main entrance. Here we go. Oh, I recognize this room. As soon as we exit the tunnels, it's immedi immediately easier to breathe. The sunlight pierces through the ceiling with the surface in sight. These, those tunnels must have started low and worked their way up. However, the exposure to the surface doesn't compromise our privacy. There's no way anybody would find this place unless they knew about it. And from what I could tell, only a select few did, so we were perfectly safe. Ah, home sweet home. I'd like to welcome you all to our Hello, Bala, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. How are you? The mayor, but it's us. I'm good. I'm flirting with everybody and everybody wants to get me alone. It is a lot of pressure. I'm not going to say it is a lot of pressure. So much pressure. I'm glad you're well. Hiya, hiya, hiya. I'd like to welcome to our blah, 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 blah. Wow, this wow. place is incredible. It's so and the great. the guard built all of it? Yes. And they're blind. Can you believe it? Essentially, yeah. With a few finishing touches by ourselves, this is what they've been working on for 20 years. Wow. That's crazy. All of those weapons, too. It's almost like they made it just for us. Maybe. We can dream, but I doubt it. Hey, Ulrich, pro, can you show them around? Weren't you the one who was going to give it? Okay. He motions towards Valesa and Fortain. Sure. Sure. You got it, boss. You got it. <laughs> anyway, pro is being over polite just to make it up to Damik. He sneers at pro in reply and is still a little upset with his slight delay. However, a moments later, they all leave the room together. Damik turns to face me with just the two of us in the lobby. A few rebels run around the room going about their business. I can tell from the way that they move that they don't want to disturb us. Well, what do you uh -oh. think? This is it. <sighs> this is our home. I get to... I, there's so much flirting. Okay, our home. <laughs> we would want to move in together already? Yes, we do. All right, here it goes. What? Well, uh, that's not... Uh, <laughs> you know what I meant, Sid. I don't. I do now. He smiles and shuffles in place. I'm watching Nazan hit on everybody, basically. That's my job. I hit on everybody constantly. That's what I do. Well, time to start the grand tour. Let's see, where should we go first? If it if it literally comes up with like, your room maybe, and then <laughs> Well, okay, let's see where we go. He places a hand on his chin, losing himself in thought. Ah, of course. The library. library. And the barracks. Okay. That's not what I was thinking, but let's go for it. He points to two of the nearby doors. The library is great for studying. That's and a good barracks, point. That's for socializing. You'll definitely want to meet your new allies. Okay, that seems pretty sensible for a barracks and a library. So, let's start with those. After that, we can go to your personal quarters. Ooh. That's right. All of you are getting your own room. Want to escort me to my room, do you? Apparently my flirting's working really well. My own room? That was pretty impressive. 
My, uh, this place must go deeper than I thought. I nod and smile as I start to follow Damic. Nice. We're here. We're finally here. I could relax now. But this entire journey has been one thing after another. But now I can rest and have my own privacy. I'll never take it for granted again. Whoa. What was that? Okay, so I don't know how many of you were around watching Koma Rebbe with me. That's another thing they have in common with Koma Rebbe. So I'm getting I'm getting very Koma Rebbe vibes. Like I and like admittedly the whole seer thing with like the visions and like they want to create an army of seers. That sounds like Koma Rebbe to me. So how is everyone's present day? Pretty nice, pretty relaxing. We, uh, you know, we we played some some games and had a good time. I hope you had a good one and enjoyed your day in a day off or a nice relaxing time. Use the map icons by the two doors to navigate to these optional areas. Move to your personal quarters. You must return to the region map. Okay. Cool. Uh, is that the region map or that's the region map? Got it. Okay, so. There's racks full of swords in almost pristine condition. Damik is right. The honor guard really left them everything. This place was a fortress. Mine was okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad it's okay. Hopefully it wasn't anything, you know, not good, but I'm glad it was okay. Glad to hear it. Um, all right. So let's go check out. I'm guessing this is the barracks. No, that's the library. I was wrong. Yes. Let's go to the library. Let's check it out. Ooh. Mm hmm. Is there a ghost there? It looks kind of like a ghost. We enter the, the library. Damik rushes forward. He closes a few books and tidies the room as I catch up. Ah, uh, terribly sorry about the mess. It was impolite of me to leave it this way. What were you What were you wanting me not to see? Were you looking at that section of the library? You know, the adult section? Is that what you were doing? A few more moments, he stops cleaning up. That didn't really bother me. He's just trying to make a good impression. Well... There's not much to say about the library. As the dust would show, it doesn't get much use. But you'll find books here on pretty much everything. Okay. It's a great place to brush up on stuff you might be rusty on. It has a decent collection too. If it's out there, you. it's yeah, probably you. in here. I Feel see free to you. use if it at your leisure. Follow, it's quite peaceful. Know. Why not just no, do right? it? Come on. Doesn't, I think Fortame really likes books, so he might be in here a lot. He smiles and makes his way back to the main landing. This place was pretty big. I'm surprised they have so many books. It's almost a shame that they don't get much use. Maybe I can change that. Well, let me take a look. Oh, great. Rebel HQ contains every book you read in your... Oh, this is my book place. That's where I'm keeping my books. Brush up on knowledge and keep the status of your collection. It's a great way to read books without revisiting older areas. Ooh. Oh. Well, isn't that convenient? That is very convenient. Okay. Uh, let's go back, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at the barracks, I guess. Go to the barracks. On my way. Ooh. We enter the barracks and Dammit quickly looks around. There's a bunch of rebels practicing with swords. Those training dummies seem to get a lot of use. Well, this is basically our training room. It's a great place to socialize as well. I'd consider it our main hub, actually. Well, that's very convenient as well. If you can't find a comrade, they're probably in here. There's a bunch of seats at the back for when we eat meals. I guess that makes it a bit of a cafeteria too, doesn't it? Convenient. Very convenient. Who doesn't want both at the same time? Anyway, there's not much more to say. Make use of this room at your leisure. I'll meet you back outside when you're ready. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where I would go to, like, find everybody if I want to, like, talk, I guess is what they're going to say. He makes his way to the main hall. I stand and watch as rebels practice their swordplay. There's most, there's many of them. This was a sizable army. This room you can rewatch previous party banter. Oh. It's a great, uh, it's great to revisit content without moving through a ton of old areas. Oh, that's nice. Click the letters uh, for the list of party banter is located in the which in which grind spot. Oh, I got it. Okay, so interesting. How many of these have we done? Apparently, that's it. Okay, so <laughs> apparently that was all of it. 
Yeah, okay, well, that's good. We've seen all of this because that was the last one we did. This one was interesting because they basically are fine with sharing me, which is nice, but I appreciate that. So let's go here, and then I guess we're done. So we'll go to my quarter spaces. Crew quarters. Is that my... No. Main entrance tunnels... Personal quarters. All righty, let's. Ooh, how fancy! Ooh, I got some bread. Yum, 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 yum. And some tea. We enter my personal quarters after a small trek through the HQ. It's larger than I thought it would be. The bed is as well. It's quite big. There isn't much of a tour to be had, so damn it, size and relief. Well, that about ends the tour. Perfect. After this, it's just the crew quarters and the war table. I imagine this is where you'll spend most Looks like of your you are time. everyone fancy. I'm everyone's fancy. I really am. He walks to the back of the room and inspects the shelf on the wall. Moving books and papers aside, he seems a bit sad. This room belonged to Shane. He was dear to me. Oh no. I sent him on a dangerous mission to the Triumvirate's castle. He's been gone for a while, but I know he'll be back. I can feel it. Yeah, he's probably going to try and kill you. So um, I don't know that like in game, but just pointing that out. So try not to get too comfortable. All right. This is just where you'll stay in the meantime. I wouldn't want Shane to think I forgot about him. Oh, I nod. That makes perfect sense. But I wonder why he's inspecting the shelf. He stopped empty handed, so he didn't find what he wanted. You deserve a lot of rest. At least for today. Just follow me for a little bit longer. We're almost done. Oh, wait. I'll show you where your comrades are uh -oh. staying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, uh, we should actually get things moving. I I'll meet you outside, Sia. No, I've been rejected. I got rejected. <laughs> no. <laughs> No! He walks back towards the door and waits outside. I guess it was time to finish our tour finally. I know, right? I got rejected. I'm so, the crew quarters was our next stop. Oh, look around, I guess. There was a uh there there are candles so close to the bed. Yeah, that does seem dangerous. That does seem I can understand why wanting to be warm, but fire hazard much? Exactly. Maybe I blow them out uh, if things got too concerning. That's probably pretty smart. There's a bunch of scrolls and books on top of the shelf. They must have belonged to the previous owner, Shane. As Damick mentioned, this used to be his quarters. Uh, it'd be odd to give him away if, if he's still alive, though. After investigating a bit more, I find his journal. The last entry is regarding his upcoming mission. Shane's Why am I journal. reading his journal? <laughs> Domek has tasked me with something risky, but I know I can. That's not off. his voice. <laughs> never let him down, and I truly owe him my life. Why is it with he these games, Clay, that I'm always purpose. reading people's personal I know, it things? Stupid. But if I can get behind enemy lines, my insight could be invaluable. No okay. know a lot about their castle, but we still know next to nothing about the Triumvirate themselves, let alone the forces of the Inquisition. This is my chance to expose them. So many questions. Finally answered. I'll have to brush up on my acting and make it look like I'm actually getting caught. That'll require some planning. Wait a minute. I'll make sure that it seems natural. They'll likely starve me or torture me. Or worse. But or I'll worse. It. it could be way it's worse. You never me. know. I've endured it all in the past before Domek saved me and took me in. I'll survive it again for our cause. And for him. All for him. Oh, were those two Jane. that close? They seem like they might have been close. He was so scared but loyal to Domek. Good thing Domek isn't the type to take advantage of that. I'm sure Shane would carry out his goal just fine. Definitely. Yeah, he's not about to try and murder him. Anyway, there's a table line with pretty much everything I'll need. It seems like this room was equipped for stuff for a long stay. However, something told me I wouldn't get to make much use of it. My training regiment would likely be intense. Early to rise, late to sleep, I could tell. I'm gonna be a busy boy. Be a busy boy. Let's go to the crew quarters. I think that's where we're going next. Ooh. After exiting my room, he takes me to a large hallway. 
At the end is a grand door, sure leading somewhere important. Lining the sides are smaller doors. I assume they lead to more private rooms. That door right there leads to the war table. Oh, good. That's the end of this tour. It's where things start. I'll go over our battle plan and give you an itinerary. Beautiful. I'm so confused by this whole thing. Your training will commence tomorrow. I can't believe this is finally happening. It almost feels like a dream, you know. It does, kind of. He let out a nervous laugh before turning to face the large door. Well, these doors on the side lead you to your comrades' rooms. Valesa and Fortame have been given personal rooms, just like you. Oh. My quarters are here as well, if you'd like to come spend time with me. I would, actually. I want to spend time with all of you. I'm going to make a quick stop in my room, actually. After that, I'll meet you at the war table, all right? Take some time to unwind. You really deserve it. Okay, 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 okay. It's been a pleasure, Seer. Oh. With a smile, he walks off to one of the side rooms. I guess that's the one I'd want to I'd go to. Ooh, saucy, right? If I want to go see him. With some long-awaited free time, it might be a good idea. However, I should make sure to spend it wisely. As soon as I met him at the war table, things would begin. Something told me nothing would be easy about moving forward. Okay. All right. Use the region map to the war table to continue the story. For now, feel free to roam the world and access content at your leisure. Every unlocked character has a heart-to-heart -heart in the crew quarters. Okay. All right, all right. Who are you? Who's this? I don't know if I know this person. Do I know you? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. So... What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do one of these right now. I think we're going to do... Let's let's do... Okay. Oh, it's so hard to choose. Let's do four tame. Heart to heart three with four tame. Here we go. His room is exactly like mine. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Okay, I enter four tame's room, see him sitting at the side table. He's engrossed in a book. It almost likes, like, looks like he's studying. I take a few steps forward to announce my presence to him. Oh, hey there. You might want to read this, Seer. I was just looking up How to Save Valinorth. Is there a book called How to Save Valinorth? An Idiot's Guide? Is that how it works? That's right. He wants to reconnect Valinorth to the spirit realm. Without the power of from their idol, Valinorth would freeze over. At least, that's what we thought. His next words surprised me. Current scholars are losing faith in the spirit realm. They call our reliance on the spirit idols a superstition. Without them, they say the world would be exactly the same. Maybe. I disregarded it at first, but then I thought about it. Valinorth's idol has been dim for over 20 years now. Don't have hurt yourself. Did it get colder at all? I sure haven't. Uh... But one conclusion just brings up a million more mysteries. It if they might... aren't giving energy to the land, what are they doing? Is there some purpose to the spirit realm that we don't know? Maybe. I don't know. I, mean, I don't really know where you're going like with this. I like this hypothesis. I truly do. Forgive my blasphemy, but just hear me out. If I'm hearing you out. I ain't said nothing. That Valinorth is fine. I ain't said a thing. Don't that get your don't ears in a bunch. Freezing over. It just brings about a new question. What are the idols? We know that they create seers, but what about the idol here? And what about the idol in Alarinthia that the Triumvirate destroyed? They expect us to believe that Alarinthia was always meant to be a desert? I was told that the destruction of their idol caused it to become lifeless. Either way, more studying is required. But I'm starting to think outside the box. I like that. Okay. It's almost like Valinorth was guiding our thoughts, you know? Well, yeah, probably. Go against the spirits and you're seen as evil or crazy. But out here, that's normal. It allows people to get more creative. I've seen a bunch of new theories about our world and the spirits. You're becoming a bit of a heretic. I'm going to have to keep an eye on you. Anyway. Anyway. He smiles and stands up from the table. It looks like he's been keeping himself busy. We have something important to talk about. I spoke to Pro, and he gave me some spending money. So next time I get the chance, I'm buying that climbing gear. That's what you want to talk about? You want your Wolverine claws? Okay. And I expect you to become my apprentice, Seer. 
I'll show oh. you the ropes, and then we'll climb the grand tree. We're Don't a little far from that. For one last trip before the final battle. We're really far from that. He runs up to me and gives me a tight hug. It might be a good idea for another date, too. Oh. A bit more private than Mazeo's Town Square. You're right. If we can make it to the top, that is. I sure hope so. I'm just an apprentice, so I can't make any promises. I just haven't had much time to practice my climbing. I hope I'm not rusty when the time comes. That'd suck. Climbing the Grand Tree has always been my life's goal. Got it. Well... The first time I attempt it, I want to make sure I succeed. But... They say the best way to learn is to teach somebody else. Yeah, so but you if you're... better prepare for some rigorous training. If I've We're doing never... This. I'm going to be busy doing other training, so I don't know about that. Uh, it seems like he's not about to take no for an answer. No, sorry. My mind is all over the place. Uh-huh. Thanks for coming to visit me, Seer. It means a lot. It really does. I guess you better head back to Domic. Isn't he waiting for you in the war room or something? No, At he's in his room. That's what I heard. He sure loves to work. Okay. He smiles and takes a step back towards the table. But before he gets there, he stops and tracks. He stops in his tracks and turns around. He was really scatterbrained today, wasn't he? Is everything okay? There's one more thing I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. I just forgot. Or maybe I was too embarrassed. Remember what Domic said about the Honor Guard? I do, and I know where you're going with this, but I don't know. They're powered by the spirits of occupation victims. I know Valesa was thinking the same thing about our parents. Do you think they're still alive? Down here? Trapped in that armor? I don't know. That's a lot. That's a really deep question. I don't really know. I don't know. Maybe. Good. I'm glad we're all on the same page. It's something we can talk about more as a group. Valesa feels the same way. She just wouldn't speak up. Well, maybe she doesn't want to. Maybe she doesn't want you to bring up old wounds. And you should probably respect that. I saw it in her face. Back in the tunnels. I don't know how we'll free them, though. Okay. I think it has to do with your sword. Oh, my sword, huh? So, until next time, then? I'll get back to my reading. Okay, that wasn't as saucy as I was expecting. He runs up and gives me a kiss on the cheek. Oh my, that's very, very, uh, very something right there. After that, we embrace each other and smile. I can't wait to see you again. I know, I can't wait to see you again. We're right here. Okay, so that was everything there. So I guess that's kind of what we're, we're into is very saucy kisses on the cheek. But, but I think this is a good place to call it for tonight uh, because we are out of time. So let me see who is out there. Let's do that one. Let's do there. Okay, so we are in a good spot. This has been a fun, fun, fun adventure. You know how it is. Sometimes we get to do more. Thanks for the stream days and see you around. Absolutely. Uh, but don't worry too much don't worry too much we're gonna be back tomorrow uh we're gonna be back tomorrow we're gonna be playing some overcooked with demon otter games uh we're gonna play with c james fox and we're gonna be playing with special guests so should be a fun time uh like i said we're gonna be ready to go early 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 tomorrow getting our game on it's gonna be a grand old time uh thanks you guys all for the the uh let's raid exactly so um we're gonna raid out we're gonna go say hello at this point to dark scintilla who's playing a little kingdom hearts uh should be a good time uh give me old lean the strings welcome i will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much um fruity bruno for the follow today i really appreciate it uh and like i said we'll be back tomorrow so uh be ready for that and until next time guys i will see you i will see you i will see you let me get this all up and running there we go. And have a good one, you guys. See you later.